<laughs> Hi. Um, welcome in. Welcome to class. Today we are learning about The Sims. The Sims and The Sims 4. Um, not so very challenged today, besties. I'm so excited. Also, you can see I have displayed George the Giraffe in the background now with Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh had to be moved over. George is the show now. George is the main event. Until I get myself a live animal, <laughs> we'll just have the stuffed animal instead. They are basically the show. They're just here to take over my stream. I'm just here just as a figure. <laughs> as a figure. Let's just go with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love George. George is pretty cool. Um, um, but hey, Cimarella, how are you doing today? And thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> when I tweeted today about the, uh, the Twitch thing about, um, me being part of the, uh, celebrate black brilliance on Twitch. You know, my intention was to respond to the, to some of the tweets, but then it just became impossible. I didn't respond to any of them. I just liked every single tweet. <laughs> there was, there's so many responses that I'm like, oh my gosh, it's kind of overwhelming, but it's fine and exciting. And then, and then the Sims liked my tweet, which I thought was really cool. And then Twitch retweeted my stream, not my stream, but my, uh, my, uh, what's it called? My, my, my tweet. They retweeted my tweet. And I thought that was really cool. First time ever, you know, first time ever. Oh, man, today should, today should be good. Honestly, I'm very excited to see how things will go with this and where it will lead to the next adventure of life for streaming and other things of the sorts. But I hope you both are doing good today. It's been a, it's been cold, but not cold at the same time. Like today it, it was 53 degrees outside. I thought it was gonna be super cold, but no, it's actually very warm. It rained. So I feel like it's, we're getting to that point where it's, it's about to, uh, you know, we're going to get that, that lovely storm of the snow, which I'm not looking forward to at all. Today is a good day. I agree. Uh, slow day at work and spent time watching the, uh, the, watching the try guys before stream. Try guys. Oh, I haven't watched any of their videos in a very long time. I think the last video I watched was when they did a video with Laura, Laura DIY. I think it was like something about like acrobatics or whatever. That was the only video I've ever seen of them in a very long time. Like literal years. <laughs> Am I even a try guy, try guy fan? No. But I think they're really cool though. And Amanda Chapman, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. Welcome, welcome in. <laughs> I hope you're doing good on this fine evening. Kenneth and Eugene are, were raiding McDonald's foods. You know, I'm not a big fan of McDonald's anymore. After watching Super Size Me and knowing what they put in there, it's just like, mm -mm, not like this not like this <laughs> um and new welcome in how are you doing today i hope you're doing good uh and i'm glad you're doing good amanda i've been doing pretty well today it's been a very exciting day because um twitch i well i was finally allowed to like announce my twitch announcement thing where um i'm a part of twitch's celebrate black brilliance campaign so uh, there's been a lot of things on twitter <laughs> a lot of things on twitter today but it was definitely worth and i was very excited about it so it's been a good day a good good day yeah rigby uh rigsby welcome in hello hello and taylor welcome in how are you doing today welcome welcome I'm so excited too. So today we are actually going to be finishing off generation nine of our 
no generation eight of our um what's it called not so very challenge i was like wait what's the thing called again i kind of forgot you know caitlin welcome in welcome in and i'm doing really good today besties thank you for asking i honestly just feel chill like i actually feel like happy and chill not overwhelmed because usually i'm always overwhelmed <laughs> half of the time but i feel good i feel like a, i feel good for once which is actually kind of great so pretty good day pretty good day you're cold hey how are you cold what's the temperature for you because for me it's, it's 51 degrees outside you should have the same weather i would i would assume so i could be wrong i don't know <laughs> i could be wrong um hey it's all good it's it's also kind of weird that it's february 1st and it's a tuesday so happy black history month besties happy black history month it's 38 degrees for you wow that is a very weird times are a change in and it's like this weather has been inconsistent and i don't like it like on one part of the, of the state it'll be like oh chill and warm and the next day it's like rain you already have rain and some ice oh gosh i bought a um i actually went to the store today i bought a lot of groceries because i don't want to leave my house ever again but i do have to say i went to walmart with my mom because i needed things and i bought a um what was it called i bought a uh i bought a car cover i bought a car cover because i needed one because i didn't have one and i knew that i didn't like to shovel my car when it snowed so i was like let me just go ahead and just grab these things where i can casually not shovel my car and have it covered easier it's 29 degrees uh warming than this morning oof 29 still is cold to me and nat welcome in and kylie welcome in how are you doing first time catching a stream from the beginning well i'm happy that you're here we literally just started the stream so you haven't missed anything we're just chilling for a minute um chit chatting for the start of the stream so we can get things i go in but i hope you are having a very a fantastic day on this tuesday or wednesday wherever you are in the world yeah <laughs> um i'm gonna take i'm taking i need to grab something real quick because i had a photo that i was going to use but then i was like mm, no i'll do it tomorrow i will do it tomorrow yeah anyway um you got a grocery order on monday and i scheduled and i scheduled it for wednesday instead of today I went to the grocery store and parked before I realized. That's me. That was me literally yesterday thinking, oh, I should go to the grocery store, but it happens. It happens. I also think I'm supposed to be getting another HelloFresh box tomorrow. I haven't had one in a very long time since I've like, I paused it because it was getting expensive for me. Um, but I wanted to like definitely, uh, get this one because it had a favorite meal that i wanted uh your dad got us covers for the windshields today and new batteries for the flashlights oh that's good i actually need to get my uh <laughs> my battery changed because for some reason there's something wrong with my car and i know what it is but it's like i had to go get it you know checked in but firestone has a schedule of like out the wazoo where you have to schedule like months in advance but you know it's whatever it's whatever but i feel your pain i'm nervous for the storm the storm the storm is getting crazy and libby welcome in good evening how are you doing today okay i think i'm good um but welcome in welcome in i haven't seen hemford on badly looking this eco-friendly in a long time i haven't been on this side in forever who is eco-friendly it sure enough can't be the Watson family because no one lives there. Everyone died. I don't know who's eco-friendly. 
That's just a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. No one's eco-friendly in this neighborhood. Um, but let me go ahead and actually do something, Bessies, because we have two house tours that we can look at today. And um, these are not for the shell challenge that we have going on right now. It's something different. Um, so we'll do that first and then we'll go into our not so berry save. 36 for you here in Orlando. I had to convert to Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. Oh, uh, we are supposed to get two inches of snow tomorrow. Oh, oh, not on Orlando or on Ot Ontario. Lordy Lou. Um, two inches of snow tomorrow and then again next day. It's not that bad. Two inches, I feel like it's, I feel like that's like, a, it's, it's reasonable, I would say. It's like a reasonable you know, size of temperature, I would think so. And height. It's like, it's not too much, but it's not a lot. Well, that's a lie. It depends. It really depends. Like when you really think about it, Amanda, it really depends. I feel, I feel like you've noticed before, like it depends on the temperature. Like you get two inches of snow, but it's like, it's really, really, really cold. And it's like, it's undrivable. It's like, I can't do this. A few weeks ago, we got over a foot. Overnight? That happened to me the other day. Like, not yesterday, but like a, last week, basically. And it was weird. I wake up, and I'm like, why is it snowing? It's so weird. Oh, I have a story time I want to tell you all, actually. <laughs> and, um, so this happened last night. Literally last night. No, actually, no, it happened today. It happened today around like 5 a.m. to 6 p.m., like around that time frame. Someone's car alarm went off for a whole like hour and a half. Like I woke up in the middle of the night hearing a car alarm. And I'm like, whose car is going off at this time of night? It makes no sense. It was going on for an hour and a half. I couldn't sleep. I wanted to literally just go away. So it was very, 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 very weird as to why I was like, I was hoping their car battery would be destroyed or like <laughs> go out of commission because all I wanted to do was sleep. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to sleep. And I was hoping that their car battery would die. <laughs> that wasn't, uh, is that bad? Is that bad to think about that? Because I feel like it isn't. I, I rather have sleep than um everything else. Misfit, hello, hello, welcome in. I hope you're doing good. It does suck. And I feel like it's only happened like one time, of course, but still. I'd be very mad. I'm like, okay, I also heard people like arguing and yelling. And I'm like, I'm glad I'm not the only one because this was a like, very annoying. And my apartment is facing the parking lot. So it's like, I can hear everything. And I feel like these walls are very thin and it's just not in the cards for me. Um, but anyway, besties, we have a very packed, packed schedule this week. We're gonna be playing a lot of The Sims uh, this week. We're playing Sims 4 today and then Sims 3 tomorrow, Sims 2 on Thursday, and then Sims 1 on Friday. And then Sims Life Stories on Saturday. But I am very, very excited because on Friday, which is actually the Sims anniversary, um, the 22nd anniversary, I'm going to be on Dr. Gluon's Twitch stream at the time that he goes live. So I'll be on his stream later in the day. So it'll be like, I think maybe an hour after I get off a of stream on Friday and then I'll be on his stream with Rochella because we're doing like a little competition thing and it's going to be really funny. You know, yellow versus purple on one stream together with Dr. Gluon being the mediator. It should be pretty interesting. So um, I'll explain more detail in the Discord, of course, of what's going to happen and everything. But I'll be on Gluon's stream on Friday around, I think, I'm going to say like, I think 8, 8 p.m. Central Time, I think. I don't know. I'll give you more details when that will happen um, for the exact dates. 
And, uh, Whee! Minji, hello. Whee! How are you doing today? Thank you for the follow. Um, I hope you're doing well today. How you been? How you been? Also, Crystal, you changed your name. <laughs> I didn't know who that was. Um, anyway. <laughs> You're doing okay. Your area is freaking out about the snow and that we're supposed to get. How many inches are you, are you supposed to be getting uh, of snow misfit? But I'm doing all right, though. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Minji. Minji Crystal. Is that what it is? Because that's what I say. Minji. Oh, mini gem. Oh, okay. I had to, I had to look a little bit closer. It says mini gem crystal. Okay. Anyway, how are you? <laughs> An RPG welcome in, welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Okay, so I have this two where I have to do because Dab requested it and I made her spend points because she has a kajillion of them. I'm just saying, you know. Um, but anyway, this one is called Finders Keepers, and the description says, Welcome to the home of, of the Pierce household. Harrison, one of the most well-known archaeologists in the world, his daughter Spencer, who hopes to follow in her foot in her father's footsteps, and her beloved dog Frank. This European-styled home has two bedrooms and four bathrooms, a detached workspace, and a small garden. Ooh. That's interesting. That's nice. Uh, Dab, would you like to share how many points you have? Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Gem is a crystal. That's true. That's true. Crystal is a gem. That makes sense. Yeah. One of those minerals. Uh, I had to do my number. Oh, you did? You did. But I'm glad you're here, though. Uh, but I'm doing really good today. It's been a very busy, you know, fun day, I would say. I had a lot of things I had to do before a stream. I had to answer some emails. I had to tweet some stuff about Twitch. Because if y'all didn't see, I am a part of Twitch's Bo Celebrate Black Brilliance campaign. So, um, there might be a chance where, like, throughout this entire month, we might have, like, an influx of people here and there. Um, it just depends because they said I'm not always guaranteed to appear on like the recommended shelf, but always be prepared. I also had to do a few things to my moderation settings where I would have to have where, um, in order to chat in my chat, you would have to have a verified email and phone number, which in my mind keeps the chat safe and regulated. But also I know a lot of people don't have a cell phone half of the time to do that certain things but I was like I'm thinking of the safety of others you know but I hope you're doing good on this fine afternoon though uh I love making the Pierce family oh you did is this like your current household that you you've been playing for a while oh that's better the lighting's better in Windenburg we're on this lot mm, this is good anyway <laughs> You have 282,000, uh, wait, 282,600. Interesting. You have a lot. You have a lot of points, I would say. Quite a few to share around, I would say. Mm -hmm. Uh, you made this a while ago. Oh, you did. It is a very good lot to build on because it is a 20 by 20 in Windenburg. So you have not a lot of space, but I feel like you could do so much with it. I'm familiar with that lot. It looks nice. Oh, yeah, same. I think this was the maybe one of the first lots I actually built on when Get Together came out for the first time. And I was so excited about it because Get Together was my first ever Sims camp I attended at EA. So it holds a special place in my heart. Biggest world we've ever gotten with the most lots we've ever gotten. So I feel like Get Together is definitely top tier. It is very cozy. Like this is my style. This is what I love to do in The Sims because like the brown and green and tan colors are my favorites, especially in suburban homes. 
It will do anything to support you. Thank you so much, RPG. Uh, one of the men can't read the words on the screen. One of the most positive streams I've ever been in. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad this is one of the most positive streams you've ever been in. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Oh, it's a bathroom. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Anyway, um, I'm glad. And I'm glad you all could be here every day when you can. It means a lot. It really does look so homey. Dab, you did very good. You did very good. And this wallpaper is from Realm of Magic. Cause I was like, I've never seen this wallpaper before, but I have. Realm of Magic. And you know what? I kind of would love to have tile wallpaper like this in The Sims for like more of this. Cause like it has like a nice, even like a texture, I guess, of tiles at the bottom. And you have like this pattern here and like plain white or whatever at the top. I kind of like that more than the ones we have now. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think it just looks nice though. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have upstairs today. Well, we got upstairs. Ooh, my favorite chess table. I also like these chairs. These are my favorite. I love those chairs and the chess table. Big fan of the brown and tan. We got Jerry and their father. Jerry, the father. Jerry, the father. <laughs> I honestly am so happy that they did um, start doing like these little recolors of like different um, like pictures in The Sims 4. Like this one was like the default one that you always had. There was nothing else. And then they added more. And I was like, thank you. We need it more. You love those chairs. Cottage Living has some really good chairs, I have to say, especially those. It's a nice bedroom here. I'm assuming that the f that the uh, the parents sleep in here. I call this, ooh, that is bright. I call that wallpaper grandma wallpaper, and I don't know why. It's giving me grandma vibes. It just does. You just knit in this room with this wallpaper and you, you call it a day. You use that tile in your house all the time. That or the adventure pack. Oh, I keep on forgetting about Jungle Adventure with some of the um, wallpapers and the flooring. I really want to go through Jungle Adventure again. It's been a minute since I've been like in that world. Selvadorada. Why do I all, okay. I don't understand. I keep on forgetting to do this every single time. I always end up decorating both sides, like one, like two sinks. But instead, I should use one sink and then decorate the other side with extra stuff. I don't understand what I do anymore. <laughs> I have to clutter everything. Melly, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. We're actually doing a little bit, a little bit of a tour of a person's house. That is not part of our shell challenge, by the way. Um, and before we kind of hop into our not so very playthrough, because it is grandma wallpaper. <laughs> true, true. You have a point. You have a point. I like the screen. This matches, and I love this bed. I love this bed a lot. So yeah, today, besties, if you're popping in right now, we're Gonna be playing the Not So Berry Challenge a little bit later in the stream, but for now we are actually doing a small tour of some personal houses that um, one of my friends slash mod submitted with their channel points. You haven't started the shell yet? Don't worry, you still have time. It doesn't start, it doesn't end until the 14th. So you have time, besties. And also the unavailable playing Sims, me. Unavailable playing Sims. That's a statement, a bold statement that I should put on my grave. <laughs> yes. Um, anyway, but we, um, mm, we're doing a tour before we play the not so very challenge. And if you want to know more about the not so very challenge, it's a 10 generation long legacy challenge created by a little Simsy and always simming where each generation is a different color based on the career and aspiration and skills you have to do each and every gen. 
I would recommend that challenge just because it is a challenge that is different. Plus, it makes you kind of do things like normally you wouldn't do, like with certain careers or skills you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily achieve or aspirations. It kind of changes the way you play the game, honestly. Yeah, we do have a shell challenge, Sammy Dito. I've been messing with a love day one. Oh, really? A love day one? That sounds exciting. And Jeremiah, thank you so much for the happy Black History Month. I almost said Black Friday month, but that's not it. <laughs> it's Black History Month. Anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Honestly, I know this month is going to be quite wild in a sense of the fact that <laughs> I'm being featured on Twitch through a carousel slash like recommended shelf called Celebrating Black Brilliance. So if you go on Twitch.tv and under the categories, you'll see this like recommended shelf called Celebrate Black Brilliance. And there's like a whole bunch of other streamers on that shelf that you'll see. And sometimes I may or may not be on there, but I could appear on there throughout the month. So honestly, I'm quite excited. A heart-shaped house? That is tricky. How are you going to roof it? Because I'm, I'm always a person who likes to roof things. But that is an interesting shell to roof. Interesting. I kind of want to build something like that in The Sims 4 for a challenge myself. Uh, I have a while to work on it because I'm off work until next Friday. Really? Wait, why are you off of work until next Friday? Ooh. Oh, archaeologists. I keep on forgetting with Jungle Adventure. They have these like little um, plates and frog things that you can find and collect. I have to say, if you're ever doing like rags to riches and you have Jungle Adventure, go to Selva Dorada because it'll earn you so much money very quick like sometimes you'll earn like 8,000 10,000 maybe 18,000 and 18,000 simoleons in one go so personally I recommend going to South Verata every chance you get because you'll earn way more money than the average sim with having a job oh a glass roof and it was a lot oh I bet a glass roof oh Okay, I think I know how you did it. Okay, I like that. A glass roof is pretty good. That's good. I also like this little room. It's like a little shed. A shed for the archaeologists for all their findings. You even use a typewriter. Just like Indiana Jones, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if Indiana Jones used a typewriter back then, but still, it's giving me very Indiana Jones vibes. You love making weird shaped houses. I, you made a teacup house once? Really? I've never built anything weird in The Sims. I try to make a freezer bunny. Like I, I try to make a house shaped in front of like, in. I try to make a house in the shape of a freezer bunny one time. It didn't go so well, but it went, it was okay. I had a little fun with that. And I never posted it. Cause I was like, I was ashamed. So I might do it again, but do a, do a house in the shape of a heart or something like that for Valentine's Day or something. Do different ones. Cause I want to change up the way I play my game. You know, I love this so much. I know I really love this house, especially like the landscaping, even like the detached garage action. This will be a house that I would build in the Sims because the roofing is like my style. <laughs> Even like the layout and like the furnishing and like all the flooring. The color scheme is great. Yeah. Like this is what, this is literally what, how I would build. I will probably add more plants. But other than that, <laughs> it's kind of like my own homes I build. You just did a thing. Uh, You just did a hip diagonal rose intersecting. This office is charming. The office is charming. And just did a hip diagonal rows of intersecting. Oh, I've done that before. I've done that before, before in The Sims. It is tricky and it is a lot, but it's worth it. Oh, because the cities have all lost corporate cut hours at every store because uh, we will not get any customs for a while. 
It's like we lost, so um, you're not working. <laughs> that sounds sad. So we only get 167 hours to schedule everyone. So I only work two days this week and next week. <laughs> that is funny. Sad and funny at the same time because like your team lost. And it's like, well, I guess no one's going to work many hours today. So um, we're cutting hours. <laughs> I wish that happened when I worked at a, at a pizza shop, but never happened. Um... Anyway, um, you did a really good job though, Dab, on the build, by the way. I hope you build more, crossing all my fingies and toesies for a YouTube channel. So save that money for that computer. No more spending on Disney, right? Right? Oh no, you're fine. You're all good. You're all good. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Saving money is great. <laughs> but can we get some claps in the chat, please? And thank you for that lovely build from my friend Dabney96 in the chat. But we have one more to go. And then we'll go ahead and hop into our Not So Berry Challenge because we got things to do. We have a lot of planning because we're technically on our last level of generation eight before we go to gen nine, which is still a child at the moment, but I am very, very, very excited for gen nine because gen nine is the, it's the green gen. Yeah, the green gen. Saving money, I never heard about her. Mm, interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I just paid my rent again this month and I hate it. I hate spending money. Spending money is not in the cards for me. So if you live in an apartment, don't forget to pay your rent. <laughs> it would be very bad if you, if you forgot, because if you forgot, they're going to charge you more. And that's something that you don't need. <laughs> anyway. You have to pay yours on the third. On the third? Usually it's always the first, right? Uh, I did a no buy month last month and saved so much. I feel like I should do that. Oh, well, technically. I mean, there are things that I have that are like subscription based that are I have to pay every month. So I feel like if I just do those and I don't do anything else, I should be fine. Yeah, I feel like if I if I just pay for the subscriptions that I have currently at the moment and I don't buy anything else, I should save a lot of more money. Because last month I spent too much money. Um, my bank account said I spent three thousand dollars, like three thousand dollars last month. You didn't include that. That's good because my subscriptions that I have is way too many. I have almost every single streaming platform besides discovery plus and uh something else i'm like that's if it's expensive i'm gonna have to cut down at some point you know um <laughs> but anyway i know that sarah is not here but we're still gonna tour her, her build now this is a thing that uh they built so long ago and i don't know why this is floating but they built this a while back ago for Little Simsy Shell Challenge. So they didn't, Simsy didn't tour this one. So I was like, let's do this one for you. Uh, it is what I live with my parents. So they pay for the first. Oh, pull on the first and then I pay them on the third. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Testing to make sure I'm verified. You are indeed Black Rose. Yes, you are. You are verified, bestie. So yeah. I had to change a bunch of settings on my moderation. So yeah, you have to have a verified phone number and email to actually chat in my chat, sadly, but keeps chat regulated and easy, you know, for everyone. Plus I can read chat better. <laughs> cause you, cause before I used to not have verified phone numbers 
in order to chat in my chat because I know a lot of people don't have f cell phones and I know a lot of people can't really afford them and just can't have one. So I was like, I'm going to turn it off. But in order to have this, uh, be part of this campaign, I had to turn it on. So, yeah, I'll be testing that later today. Well, yours is verified, so you're able to chat in my chat. Okay, this one's pretty nice. It's a modern build and I can't do modern. Another streamer I watched did that a while back ago, maybe because they were going to be on the front page slot too. Well, most of the time that helps with like moderation. Like there's like usually like a bunch of trolls that uh, tend to be in streamers chats, mainly children, I would assume. <laughs> um, and nine times out of 10, like it'll be like a bunch of people spamming like hate raid messages and being very vulgar and very rude to people. And those people usually don't have verified phone numbers. Most of the time they have verified emails. Now with front page, you normally don't really need to have um, that on unless you want to have it on. I've always had it turned off just because like, I, I'm always thinking of other people who don't have cell phones and want to like actually chat in the streamers chat. But um, Twitch recommends people to do that to avoid like trolls and hate raids and such other things like that. But yeah, Twitch just recommends it. <laughs> so usually that kind of goes down into the fact that lower view count for most people and um, some other stuff too. But it all depends on the streamer and also like what they're doing that day. I can't wait to the, yeah, I can't, why can I not read? You can't wait for me to see your shell. You worked Thursday that week. So hopefully I'm home in time to catch the stream. I hope so. Cause we, we're not doing tours until, oh, wrong, wrong button. We're not doing tours until the 15th of February. So in two weeks, right? Two weeks, one week. I don't remember. No. Yeah. Two weeks from now, um, we'll be doing shell tours. So I'm very excited about that. Ooh, talk about bright lights. I like this wallpaper. This wallpaper is from base game and I use it a ton. And I feel like this is a, a common thing that I'll use every day. I like this bathroom though. This bathroom is really nice. Like something about like shell challenges. One, it, it basically, that's dedication. Um, one, it makes people practice their building skills. And also two, it pushes people out of their comfort zone to do different things that normally they wouldn't do. And honestly, I'm taking some inspiration from all of this and I'm quite keen. Two weeks. Okay, good. You finished the Black Widow challenge today, married one of each occult sim two. Interesting. Did you have any kids with them though? Cause that's what I did with my Black Widow challenge. So I'm like, I want to at least keep the legacy going. You know, that's what I did. But that's an interesting concept, marrying each occult. Because how many occults do we have in The Sims 4? I think, all I know we have like five, I think. Probably more than that. A nice small little kitchen. <gasps> Ooh, wait, that's so cool. It's like a built-in fridge. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like this small little kitchen. I'm keeping it for myself. Uh, you worked on the shelf floor plan on the second floor hurts. Second story hurts. I'm sorry. I did it myself. I thought it would help. I thought my helping would help, but I guess not. <laughs> you love the dining nook? Me too. Uh, I've never done a shell challenge before. You might try this one now. I recommend it. Shell challenges are, are very fun. They can be quite daunting at first, of course, if it's like your first one. But I think the more that you do it and you take your time with it, it actually becomes very fun. I think I'm, uh, I think I made it work. Very good. Very good. Cause I was hoping that the second floor would help people. Uh, Cause floor plans are not my strongest suit half of the time. But then they also kind of made the shell, like the shape of the shell kind of weird. That made the floor plan seem weird to me. I would love a kitchen like this, but bigger. 
I need to build my dream house in The Sims 4 again because my my dream house tends to change a lot and I feel like I need to definitely uh for sure Z's um get that in the cards starting for the works the color scheme is nice it's very tan and like black like black and tan with like a hint of cream I would say yeah okay let's go downstairs see what we got down here okay Vampire, Spellcaster, Servo. Forgot about those. But you can marry the Servos. Alien, Mermaid. You did plant some as well. Interesting. I didn't know you could uh, marry a Servo. I thought they were just like <laughs> objects. I've been really enjoying it. And after my Love Day one is done, I should try out yours. You should. I think you'll like it. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's under the stairs. I keep on getting confused. I'm like thinking, is that a mirror? Is that a reflection? It's not. It's another uh, thing. You just walk down. I always get so confused with that every time. If I could add more walls to the second floor, second story, it would help. True. True. If it was a little bit bigger, yeah. You can marry a servo. You've done it a couple times. I'm going to try that then. I'm definitely going to try that. A servo is a robot. So you know how we had like... I almost called them servants, but that's not it. But um, but yeah, they're robots basically. But I really love this. I love this bedroom. So cute. I finally got my verified codes for desktop and mobile chat. Yay! And behind to welcome in, welcome in. I'm doing really well today and thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Sorry, it took you for a while. It took you a while. Usually you just pop in chat and there you go. Um sadly, yeah. I had an enable phone verification for this month because you know, when it comes to Black History Month, there's always those random people, you know, who say hateful things and it's not nice. Um, so yeah, I had to do that. I'm taking care of my brother's cat for a few months. Ooh, that's cool. Kitty cat, kitty cat. I also have no idea what this is. Ah! I can't believe this. Tell me why I thought this was like, you know, an actual object in The Sims 4. No. Well, it is, but like, it's, a, it's an end table with these fence iron posts. Uh, why don't I do this more often? <laughs> I hate it. I love it, but I hate it for myself because I don't do this. <laughs> You know, when you think about floating like shelves, it seems crazy that they're not being held by something. So having like these beams makes sense. I'm stealing the idea. You didn't know they were called that? I thought they were called robots. I think in the past they were called robots, I'm thinking. But I knew I knew that they started calling them servos during the Sims 2 era, I believe. You can't have any babies with servos. Oh, that's sad. You can try, but it won't work. Oh. And again, I keep on forgetting. I keep on forgetting to do this every time. I guess because I never have my, um, well, I mean, I can't, I technically we could probably do it though, because this shower is on a foundation and I always tend to forget to use a platform and like raise it up off the ground. And then using like the, um, like one of these showers right here, either from Snowy Escape or Discovery University and doing this, but I never do it. <sighs> Out of the box thinking. Um, their gallery name is, uh, Zebra, Zebra Rights on the gallery and they're regular in, in stream. So I'm just like, how? Uh, you're working on a Sims house and hoping to finish uh, in a month. You'll be using your Shook Simoleons once it's done. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. 
Can't wait for some tips and constructive criticism. You bet you. I'm always happy to help with anything. Uh, this is a good bathroom. I also like this flooring. It's from Jungle Adventure. Also, Shadow Games and Nero D'Angelo, welcome in. It's good to see you too. Welcome, welcome in. Hope you are doing well today. We're doing a lovely tour of a house real quick before we hop into Not So Berry today. I don't even know where to go next, to be honest. That is a very good idea. I'm a very slow builder. And I guess because when I'm slow, I just don't do half of the stuff that I see in shell tours. I always forget. <laughs> but welcome in. It's good to see all your lovely faces in chat, you know? It's nice. It's wonderful. I like this bedroom. I also keep on forgetting about this style of bunk bed because I know we have a bit of variety of ones that I think came with eco lifestyle and I keep on forgetting to use this one because it has cool swatches even putting one putting a desk under it too makes sense okay good bathroom good good under the sea theme very good we love to see it 50 simoleons for toilet paper just so you all know it's a very, very nice room. Very modern. The whole house is definitely just modern in a way. So we're kind of getting modern vibes. It's very large and in charge. A lot to work with. A lot of detail, I would have to say. A lot of detail has gone into this build. And I'm always thinking, what could I do better to make my builds better like this? Because all I build is suburban. Or use the same objects over and over <laughs> and make it work <laughs> the best of my ability. <laughs> I know that is a nice bedroom. I would love to live here one day, but I feel like I could not afford it at all because how expensive it might be. The doors remind me of that cozy barn inspired home too. It does. So I think these doors came with cats and dogs yeah they're li they're literally called good old barn door good old barn door <laughs> so technically you kind of could make like a barn and use these doors if you wanted to the lighting around the bed is so cute i've seen people use like this trick before by using one of the awnings um from snowy escape and then adding all these lights around it for more lighting effects and I think that's like a smart idea. I even have uh, Twisted Mexi's mod, Better Build and Buy mod in my game, and I can change the lighting within build mode. And I think it's so cool. Typing on desktop is so much more freeing than mobile. It really is. Like you can type a mile a minute. Like you can just type multiple times. <laughs> Typing on desktop is way easier. Mobile is just scary. Also say our hi. <laughs> Not me thinking, oh, this is nice. And I'm like, wait, this is my build. <laughs> like, this is nice. Where have I seen it before? Yeah, this is your build. <laughs> I take uh, Simsy's gallery builds to see and see how I can furnish them since I'm not always huge on building myself. That's a good way of doing it. Simsy builds really good. And I feel like they're, I take a lot of inspiration from, uh, from her because I've realized my furnishing style is kind of similar to hers, but I, of course we have our own like furnishing styles, of course, but like, Ooh, I hate saying like, I feel as that our furnishing styles are different, but the same at this, at different times. Depends on what we're doing. But yeah. I even look at all the different builds on the gallery for inspiration. Cause a lot of people build very differently or very extravagant. Like Kate Emerald is so freaking good at like building in The Sims 4, I would say, just because they use uh, Twisted Mexi's mod tool and they make these like interesting like objects from different objects in the game and make one cohesive object. And it's so wild and we are like out of this world. And I'm like, how? Teach me your way. So honestly, people are so talented these days. No chat lag. Very good. No chat lag. We love to see it. Okay. 
I was like, I would, I love this room because I've seen this room before. I tend to furnish my bedrooms like this half of the time in my game. I think it's cute. Nice shade of green. Good use of space. It's a big fireplace for a small room, but hey, you do you. You like more bright colors than other builders? I do too. I tend to keep my, my stuff very like neutral and bland sometimes, but occasionally I'll do like more bright colors here and there. I didn't think I was good at building until I took a recreation of a house in my neighborhood and gave myself a lot of uh, patience. That is good. That is a good way to start like building in the Sims and like learning. That way you kind of get better over time. I rebuilt my own house in the Sims 4 and I've learned a lot since then because <laughs> building real life houses can be quite daunting at times, but hey, what can you do? It is pretty like nice to be able to build real life houses in the Sims 4, um, even like in an inspiration from Zillow. You will watch your videos to learn and just click rewind to watch it again, like a recipe book <laughs> or a recipe video, same. <laughs> What's chat lag? So you know how like, so if you're on mobile, um, if so if you're using Twitch mobile, there's usually like a delay on Twitch mobile. So like I'll say something, but you won't hear it until like a lot later. I think it's like maybe five second delay pretty much. And it's like not great. Cause in five seconds you miss like a lot. <laughs> Like, Twitch is not optimized for, for mobile, and I don't like it. I wish it was, though. That's why I hardly ever chat on mobile. I always go into my desktop. But, uh, Sarah, I love this bathroom, by the way. Um, I love... <laughs> I love the fact that you use this, and then also, uh, did these platforms. And they're actually functional, too. Oh, you're, you're on mobile at the moment? Ah, Okay. You had fun with the shell and you went with a more Mediterranean vibe. Oh, really? Huh. I've done a few Mediterranean builds in my lifetime. I find them kind of therapeutic to build. I built an all base game one. And let me tell you, it was quite wild. And Sammy, uh, ditto. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat? Please and thank you for that brand new sub. I hope you enjoyed all the emails here in the spring squad. Thank you, thank you. You use tool for the tower rack. I figured. Cause I'm like, you can't tilt things like that in the game itself. I'm still scared to use tool because I'm like, I don't know what to use. I don't know how to do it. But tool is a very good pro uh, mod to use. Um. No, you type on mobile all the time. So sorry for all the typos. Oh no, you're fine. Honestly, I I have a bunch of typos even on desktop and it's just not great because I have I use Grammarly for everything. You would think my typing would get better with Grammarly. It does. I just usually ignore it. So you're fine, Misfit. You're all good. <laughs> uh I had to keep up like looking at uh looking at what people write in chat. Yeah. It can get pretty crazy for sure. You're enjoying your time already? Oh, I'm so glad. I like this backyard. So Sarah, who is Zebra Rice in the chat, did this build for Little Simsy's Shell Challenge, the previous one that she had going on. And um, I have to say, you did a really good job on this. I love the sunken like pool here with adding like these platforms in different uh, sections. And then also like the raised one for the hot tub. I like that. I like that. You have things to do. All good, all good. Enjoy your lurk. Pink and white looks good together. It does, especially if you have uh, ADHD. Wait, is it? Do you mean ADHD? Because if so, yes, it does. Uh, let's see. Oxy, wait. Oxy, tap. Oxy. Oxia Tai Chi? I feel like I'm saying your name completely wrong. But hi, how are you? Please, please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to call you Oxy 
for right now, but correct me if I'm wrong, by the way, but how are you doing though? Welcome in. Welcome in. And Car Car, welcome in, welcome in. Oh, Dream Home Decorator. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait. Huh? But yes, it does. Pink and white does go well together with Stream Home Decorator. I agree with you. Took you forever to verify to chat. Yeah, sadly, I have to have um, verified phone numbers in chat for you all to chat. To keep the things regulated. Because Twitch is scary sometimes with random trolls during Black History Month. It's sad that it happens and it shouldn't happen, but it happens, you know? Uh, I think it's forever because this game does not want to cooperate sometimes. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. But welcome in, Karkar, and I'm doing really good today. Yes, you gotta you gotta protect the peace, because I've seen so many things on Twitch that I have blocked and banned people when I have seen stuff, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I always say if, if you can't say it to your mom, your dad, or your grandma, don't say it in Twitch chat. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you wouldn't say it to your parents, you shouldn't say it at all. That's my motto, besties. They always say, you kiss your grandmother with that mouth? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. Besties. We're getting a, a new kit. In two days. A new kid in two days, which is very exciting. But here's the thing. I'm more excited about the game pack that we're getting because my alt, my heart leads towards weddings. And that's all I need. Okay, we do. We do we do this every time? Just asking. No, no. So once you are verified, you're good. Yes. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited for the kit because I want to explore it, but we won't be exploring that until next week. So on, I believe, let me see. So literally on the 7th, which is a Monday, is the same day that we're getting the Sims Delivery Express content from Complex Sims. So that's the day we're going to check out the Sims Delivery and the new kit at the same time. It kind of worked in our favor, you know, kind of funny, um, but it worked well. Yeah, you did a really good job on this, Sarah. I have to say, honestly, looks like a fish, because it is. Um, that's just the shape of the home, basically. I didn't make it. Kayla did. Um, but you did a really, really good, good job, especially the landscaping, like this hill. I don't have patience like that. I don't have patience like that. Kit and game pack. You know, I'm curious, what do you all think? Like, do you think the game pack's gonna come out this month or next month? Because technically we're gonna be getting another kit. Cause we're getting two new kits and one game pack either this month or next month. <laughs> but yeah, very, very good. Yeah, oh, I forgot. There's even like a little garage. It's like a little carport. Oh, I love that. I love that. Cute. Now, only if these were functional, then our life would be complete. But it's okay. I love it. I love this a lot. Very, very good. Very good. Can we get some claps in the chat, please? And thank you. Claps, 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 everybody. The, the hill is to die for. Yes. Ever since they added into rain tools, I've been very scared to use them because like I didn't use them that much in The Sims 3 and I'm like, oh, because there's so much you can do with them now that I feel like you can make whatever you want. And so I'm always like scared that I might mess up, mess up something more so my walls. Where is my Sim? Here it is. Uh, I feel like it's going to be the end of this month and slash beginning of March. I can get behind that because the game pack we're getting is in on Thursday. And a lot of people were, have been saying that we might get the game pack on like the week of Valentine's Day, which Valentine's Day is on a Monday. A lot of people have been saying that, but I don't know. I would agree with you. Probably towards the end of the month, I would say. 
Thank you for the for painting that. The gallery loves to eat things. You're welcome. <laughs> I think summer for the weddings, unfortunately. Yeah. Because, you know, people do like summer weddings. And they also do like, you know, they always say, I would love a June wedding. I can get behind that, a June wedding. But I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot I miss about The Sims 2. Same. We're playing The Sims 2 on Thursday. So you'll be seeing that on Thursday if you'll be here. Um, but I agree with you. I miss like the whole small interactions of um, The Sims 2. And you're welcome, welcome. And also, thank you so much for the host, uh, Melita. Uh, will there be uh, any shell challenges soon? Yes, we actually have one going on right now. That doesn't end until the 14th. So you've got time. Uh, I can't do them. I just enjoy watching tours. Oh, <laughs> um, we'll have another tour on, um, uh, what's it called? The 15th? Yes. There was something that's more soap opery about it. Same. I agree with you. I'm going to be recording a video tonight probably most likely and editing it tonight to post tomorrow because i have to say sims 2 pleasant view is the most chaotic world i've ever played in the sims 2 alone the most chaotic and melita hello how are you doing today i hope i said your name correctly um but welcome welcome in we are playing the not so berry challenge currently at this current time and we're about to actually go to work today and hopefully maybe get promoted to chief, which will be at level 10 of our career, which is all we have to do for this. This is literally the last and final thing we have to do for this generation. <laughs> I mean, we have until Friday to do it, but still. I've been playing this challenge since 2017. You might go over your comfort zone with the shell. I always do the same aesthetic. Well, I'm excited to see what you do then. You doing well? Feel comfy here? Ooh, woo. Yay. I'm glad you feel comfy here and I'm glad you're doing well today. The Pleasant Family was, was my favorite. I loved slash hated the Pleasant Family. We play a lot of The Sims 2 here on stream. Now, if you are into watching like three hour long streams of the sims 2 like back if you want to you can because i actually have every single vod i've ever done of the sims 2 in pleasant view on youtube on my main channel and my vod channel and let me just tell you it is ridiculous the pleasant family has gone through so many life changes it's not even funny also, the Wally Tan, welcome in. You scared me. Ah. <laughs> but welcome, welcome in. So the way I played it is that I literally had, um, what was it? What was it? So at the beginning, Daniel Pleasant, I had Daniel, Daniel Pleasant cheat on Mary Sue with the maid, as you all know. With the maid, Mary Sue didn't believe anything at all until Lilith saw them in the act told Mary Sue, Mary Sue saw, kicked out Daniel, and he left. He dated Caitlyn Langer for a while. They had a kid named Scarlett after a while. Daniel cheated on Caitlyn with Don, and Don cheated on Nina with Daniel. They got married. They adopted a kid together. Daniel cheated on Don with Malcolm Landcrab. Don found out, kicked Daniel out. Daniel moved into with Malcolm. Long, it was not a, it was not a lot happened with that relationship anyway. Um, and then Malcolm found out that Daniel was using only him for his money, fame, and fortune. Kicked him out, and now Daniel is an old, senile, decrepit old man living by himself in Pleasant View. He has a, he has a, had a, had a lot going on in his life. Like it's kind of messed up. When you watch those videos back, you'll see why it's so cha chaotic. You're out on a date with with slang. What does uwu mean? Honestly, 
Yes, it means happy. Uwu means happy. Like, uwu. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect thing to do as I work on writing projects. Awesome. Well, I hope you like them. A little uwu ness goes a long way. It means you feel happy, excited to be there. I always say uwu a lot because I'm always so uwu when I'm like here streaming and having fun with you all and just having fun. Okay, so we need to actually <laughs> work for a living. So we need to go and run with our chest out for an hour. And then we need to go and interrogate a suspect, which I think we were doing last stream. So once we've finished working out, we're going to interrogate you and do that. <laughs> okay, because keep hearing it. I'm like, wow, I must be old. No, you're fine. You are fine. I have a... There is an uwu emote that I have from other streamers. Uwu. I have a few. I'll show you all. All the uwus in stream for the best vibes. Oh, I have so, I have so many uwu emotes. <laughs> I have more than you dab. <laughs> and do you all attend thing for the 100 bits? All the uwus in the streams for the best vibes. Exactly. Those are some examples of what Uwu technically looks like. Now I want to play Sims 2. Might as well use my last three hours of free time to play it. I say do it. Honestly, it is quite a vibe. I would say. You can get it now. Uwu. I use it all the time and I say Uwu all the time. No matter where I am, like I'm just say Uwu. When in doubt, Uwu. Yeah, this one. Who's that one by? Oh, play with me. I'm dead because it's so cute. <sighs> RPG. I can't. It's so cute. <sighs> oh, I'm surprised you don't have uh, you don't have one. Eventually we'll have one at some point. The challenge is going pretty great. I have to say we are literally. This close, this close car car, so close to finishing this generation. And soon we will be on, um, we'll be on Gen 9, literally, hopefully today in the stream. I don't know if we're going to get promoted today or not, though, because we're at a good level at the moment. We might get excellent, maybe. Um, but this is the last thing we got to do. And I've never been more excited in my life to get this one done and out the way. Because then that means we can finally play Gen 9, which is the green gen, and then... That's when the real fun begins. We can finally be, I believe, what is it? Let me see. NSV. That is not how you spell it. NSV. <laughs> Someone Etsy made yours. Really? Oh, that's cool. I know one of my friends, Zoe, who goes by Solar T, I believe, has an Etsy store and has like a bunch of like bit badges, emotes that people can use. And I thought it was like really cool. Okay, so yeah, Gen 9, we have to be in the tech guru career. And we just started working on, actually, let's see. Yeah, we started working on our video gaming skill early since we completed the mental skill last stream. And if you didn't know this, actually, if you have your kid sims complete one of their like child skills to level 10, they'll be able to start working on their adult skills early which is a very very smart thing to do if you're doing like a challenge that requires kids to have certain skills at a certain age i have mine thanks to gift suppers my poor self could never be alone could never alone same i have been gifted subs so many times like i'm only sub to like four people <laughs> the other ones have been gifted subs at least for me and I also use my Twitch Prime every month to a different streamer sometimes, more so just to Rochella. I don't want to work out again. I'll do it again. I honestly have to say Amazon Prime is like the best thing ever because you get a free sub every month if you connect your Amazon account with your Twitch account, if you have Prime. I just don't know if I want to play Pleasant View or my custom hood. You're on round two of your pleasant view and round 11 of your custom hood. 
I feel like you could go with route with your custom hood. It depends on what you're doing in your custom hood, though, and how also how far along you are in your uh, pleasant view. Since you're on round two of pleasant view, but round 11 in your custom hood. I don't know. Custom hood sounds more exciting. <laughs> I mean, technically, you could probably do maybe Strange Town. You could probably do that. Maybe that could be a possible thing. Mm -hmm. You have to check it out. Yeah, definitely. Your Twitch arm is broken. Oh, no. That's not fun. I hate when that happens. I've been having to change my... um debit card a lot because it was using my old debit card instead of my new one so i was like okay i gotta change everything so i can be able to uh you know still use it you know because i use prime like no, like net like it's nothing that's how i watch all my favorite shows uh does it cost to do more than one month at a time with prime so when you have prime you're only allowed to sub with your Prime, with one streamer per month. So yes, if you wanted to subscribe to somebody else, you would have to use like your actual like money instead of using your Prime, if that makes sense. I Because they only limit, limit you to uh, one streamer per month using your Prime. You can't uh, actually get any more. Oh, I'm done? <laughs> they said go on patrol and I went on patrol. Fine, I'll go back to my little place that I call home. Unless it's broken. Oh no. Fine. Yeah, any others is extra. Yeah. Any others is extra if you have uh, that going on. That's weird. I can't go back. I want to go back. Go jogging. My game's broken. Oh no! My game! It's broken! <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited because they ended up making a laundry list of what they're going to be fixing in the game. They finally addressed that they're going to be fixing where... Um, so you know how if you go into Create a Sim, there are times where you click on your sim's face, it goes into detailed mode instead of the other mode, where they're going to be fixing that soon, hopefully. And they're also going to be fixing e Evergreen Harbor as well at some point. Like, I've never been more excited in my life to see that happen. Never in my life. Loki, uh, Loki, welcome in, welcome in. There it goes. My game crashed. Why? Luckily, I didn't do much anyway. <laughs> I didn't do much in my game anyway to actually have a, some progress. I just went to work. Uh, Welcome, welcome. And I was like, I was waiting for it to crash. I knew it stopped at some point. Oh, she did with a cop career, maybe. It was just really bugged. I think it's really bugged. That's why I don't really play with the get to get to work careers that often because it is very buggy. Um, luckily, this is the only, well, technically the last career I need to play with from get to work. So that's kind of a good thing. Because I never played with the doctor career because I skipped through that when I did uh, have my sim go to university. Yeah, if I can find the laundry list, I can uh, tell you what they're doing. But I know they're fixing Evergreen Harbor. They're going to fix the, um, whatchamacallit, create a sim from detailed mode and such and such like that, which is good. Yeah, here it is, the laundry list. This was posted four hours ago. So they're going to be fixing... Um, Clicking on the face and cast go, goes immediately into detailed mode. They're fixing that. The major or the massive lag when entering and exiting build and buy mode. Um, they're also fixing Evergreen Harbor. 
Um, they're also fixing a few things. Like, I don't know if you had this before, but teens have crow's feet, um, eyelashes getting color on curly short hair. Um, there was also a dress from Dream Home Decorator where dresses leave discoloration on certain shoes and boots. Incorrect gender flag on pants, pants, slash pants look bad on female frame. Entitlement missing on the gallery downloads unless all packs from build. Fences disappear when hovering with the gates. Unable to harvest bizarre fruits. Male sims walk slash jog with feminine style. And then cottage living, female hairstyle creating gaps slash lines on the model. Hmm. It's like a few things, but not a lot of stuff, but it's something. Uh, Dr. Career in my game is super bugged. Really? I can't even go to, I can't even go with your Sam anymore when I'm having babies. I never, I haven't gone to the hospital in a long time with my Sims. I usually have like the T-pose that happens, but luckily I have a mod where that, uh, changes it, which is great. And also Ari, welcome in. I hope you're doing good today. Welcome, welcome, bestie. Uh, your game was messing up earlier too, kept echoing and repeating itself. That's, that's some poltergeist stuff right there. Poltergeist. That's scary. <laughs> I'm nervous. Yours froze this morning. Oh my. Oh, uh, will the pack be $40 pack? It's going to be a game pack, so it'll be 20 Yes. And there's a sim sale going on right now, but it ends in literally two days. The sale ends in two days, bestie, on Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, and also on Origin. So if you don't have any packs that you have been wanting to get, get them now while they're on sale because it's cheap. It's cheap. The Sims 4 is literally $5 on uh, Steam and I think also Origin. You were doing the active career and the director didn't spawn on the lot so my Sim couldn't do her job. Almost cost me a Starlight Alkalade. Uh, in this economy? That's crazy. I'm sorry to hear that. When it costed you a Starlight Alkalade, that's when you know it's personal. It's like, I did not spend my hard-earned blood, sweat, and tears just not to get an award. <laughs> crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. SMH. SMH. Uh, for your birthday, my hubby is giving me $50 for Sims packs. Anything of getting get together. I recommend that pack one. It's the biggest world, biggest world that we've ever got with the most slots. I love the European style of it. The gameplay is, you know, not really my thing. It's more focused on clubbing and going to clubs and having a club. Party, partying with your friends, basically. So... You can create clubs with get together. You can um, have like this like new European style, like this Tudor style, like architectural style that you need to have in The Sims 4. Because I feel like everyone should have it personally. Um, I believe that's also when they introduced 64 by 64 lots in The Sims 4 before cats and dogs. Um, build and buy is really good. Create a Sim, of course, is outdated, but the outfits and hairs are still nice, though. So I feel like you could do no wrong with it, though, if you got it. I always tell myself not to play full price for vampires, so I might get the pack now. Personally, bestie, the time is now. The time to start is now. I love vampires. I'm learning to love Supernaturals in The Sims 4. As long as I can try my best to get a hybrid baby in the game, then I know I'm good. You got The Sims 3 Island Paradise. The nostalgic. Uh, the nostalgic is real with that pack. Oh, it is. I was very surprised because I played it the other day just for fun. And it wasn't laggy. Like, Isla Paradiso is laggy, but it's fun. The Mosquito Pack. You want to you want to get that pack as well. I feel like the mosquito pack is a good one. More so for the photography, I would say I like that pack 
for the photography. Everything else, no. Not really a big fan on the clothing because the stuff IRL is so expensive that I could never afford it. And I feel like it'd be hard to stylize my Sims in that style. Well, I mean, I guess it guess depends on the Sim, I guess. I would assume so. Anyone else bribe themselves? I'm telling myself if I get a certain amount of work done tonight, I'll work myself within the pack. You know, I do that my I do that as well. I sometimes do that. Like if I, I tell myself if I can get my video done and edit it, I can take a nap. I can take a nap or I can stay up a little bit longer to, uh, you know, if I get done editing my YouTube video for the day, I can stay up an extra hour. We got vampire pack on sale too. Glad. Uh, glad. Wait, 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 wait. Glad I did not. I don't ever play with it much. Yeah, I don't play with that pack as much, but when I do, I do. Religiously. We start to suspect you. You really love the that one big lot? That exclusive neighbor was cats and dogs. Are you talking about the uh the um the uh Delgado family? Cause they have like a big old house on a big lot with a bunch of Sims, and I think they only have a cat and a dog like that household is crazy but i love them i want it for the windows yes get together has great windows and so does vampires you were thinking of getting i'm living vampires spooky pack and plant kit good choices i'm living is a good one i like it for the the world itself mermaids um hit or miss but I do like it for the world and the career that I want to eventually one day get back into and try and complete it. Because I didn't get that far with it. I tried, but it didn't work. Because I didn't try. <laughs> I didn't even try. I also kind of forgot that we had a spooky pack in The Sims 4 because it's been a long time since we've had it. Ma'am, where are you going? Thank you. To talk to your co-workers. They need your help with things, okay? Thank you. Uh, Island Paradise, I remember. It was being laggy. It was. It still is. Depends on the computer. But when I first had it, uh, I made it run on my old laptop. But now, with a better PC, it runs like a charm. Isn't it fun? I installed some of my old store content I had from a long time ago. And let me tell you, I had a lot. I had installed that one surfer. Um, I don't know if it came, it was store content, of course, but it was like where your Sims could go surfing on like this object and like dolphins would appear out of it periodically. And I had it and I loved it. And my Sim always fell on their face because I thought it was funny, but they would do it all the time. So it was a really, really cool, uh, uh, store content stuff, but store content, The Sims 3 was expensive. I'm not sure. It's 64 by 64. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I know what you're talking about. I know that lot. I know that lot now. In Brindlin Bay, that big one. Yeah. I was building a small town in it, but I forgot I was doing that, and now I don't have the save anymore. Oh, no. That's not fun. I'm so sorry to hear that. Losing the save is never fun at all. Never, never fun. I want to build another like tiny town one day because I used to do that all the time. And I kind of just stopped, but I should do it again. But 64 by 64 is definitely a lot. I either want to build like a tiny town or a gated community. Gated community. Mermaids are buggy, so I would probably only play with the world and cast. That's what I do now, at the moment. My favorite scenario so far? Um, I would say that my favorite scenario would have to be... I almost said Lovers Before Enemies, but that's not it. 
Um, I did enjoy surviving the holiday scenario. That was really fun because I played with the Pancakes household. Love that household. Hate Eliza, but love Bob. But, um, so yeah, surviving the holidays was fun. And then that money one was really cool. And then the other one that we had was, um, mm, it had to do with something. Oh, love after a breakup. That's the one. So love after a breakup, that money one that we had at the very start and then surviving the holidays. Those are my three. Those are my three favorite ones I enjoyed because love after a breakup and surviving the holidays were the two that I played with the pancakes family. And it was, a, it was a true delight. Uh, you get the Sims 3 theme park thingy from the store. Roaring Heights. Is that the one? Roaring Heights was um fun, but wild. Take a police report from a civilian. I did, but they don't want to talk to me. Mimsy, why are you? Okay, here it is. Also, ma'am, you're not tired. You are good. You're fine. Wait, are you dying? I can't believe this. Gated community is more of the correct name, to be honest. Yeah, I've seen one before, and those were fun. I'm certainly making, you're working on the money one. I hope you have fun with that, actually. I hope you have fun with that. Lordy Lou, someone died on the job. SMH. Do not witness the death. We gotta go take a report. Please. Oh, uh, love that our breakup is hard because I couldn't get my sim in a good mood when they were at home at the same time. It's hard, but it is definitely an interesting scenario. I know we're supposed to begin another one soon, but I forget what it's called. And you have triplets. Congratulations. You just know it's a sub goal. What, which five minutes Friday are you going to play? I'm thinking of playing the first one or maybe the third one because I have four, all four of the Five Nights at Freddy's games except the last one that they did. But I'll leave that up to you all because if we do reach our sub goal of 300, then you all decide which Five Nights at Freddy's game I, I play. I have them all except the last one. But congratulations on the triplets, Witchy Dragon. And Les, a welcome, welcome in. You got here. Awesome sauce. Hope you're doing well today. A sim just died on the job. Nothing to see here, besties. Nothing to see here. But I've been doing pretty swell. I announced something really cool on Twitter today about being part of Twitch's Celebrating Black Brilliance all month long for Black History Month. So it's been a really, really good day. You just finished finding love after a breakup and what's fun to play. It it is a very fun scenario. Out of all the scenarios, I think that I think that one was the most entertaining for me. Cause I broke up the pancake family. Because I don't like them together. At all. F in the chat for the assistant. They died on the job. Rip. If anyone is having the fence glitch where it disappears when you put the gate down. So they're actually going to be fixing that, that, uh, that glitch. That was actually one of the things that they are going to be fixing in an upcoming patch. So we don't know when that patch will be, but they have that on their laundry list to fix. Not committed to the job enough <laughs> not to die on their own. Lazy. That's what I call them. Dying on the job, lazy. <laughs> I usually never make legacies, but I used to you, but I'm used this as a good opportunity to make one. That's a good, that's a good thing to do. I'm a legacy player through and through. I will always make a legacy, no matter what it might be. I will do it because I love family gameplay and that brings me so much joy. You some end up with Bob pancakes on a whim. Bob is a catch. Bob is an afternoon delight that you just can't resist. I think Bob, like Bob Pancakes. Yeah, Bob Pancakes 
and Zoe Alto could go well together, I would say. Oh, I forgot that we had a, one scenario about those like toddlers. Those were crazy. I didn't do that one. And the witchy dragon, thank you for giving a gift sub to Gap Captain Grayson. I hope you enjoy the emotes, Captain. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat? Please and thank you for that brand new gifted sub. Do we have enough time to go on patrol? I do not. Or a crime scene. I'm going to cross-reference some stuff on the database. Yeah, I have. I don't think I've ever done the toddler one. Did you do it, though? Because I haven't. My first baby daddy for Gen 2, the mixed match, is an alien. I'm glad the baby wasn't blue. <laughs> I think my last children were, I think they were blue. Blue or green or purple. One of the three. And I was like, excuse me? Weird. No, I don't think it's weird. I would say he supports trans rights. I mean, you can change it. I don't think by default, I think his original outfit is like a green shirt. I believe I'm not entirely sure, but um, I say he supports trans rights. In my opinion, I'm going to um, not mourn them. I'm going to just take their grave. Can I delete their grave? Is that a possibility? Uh, ooh, oh, well. I just deleted somebody's grave. <laughs> uh, oh, man. I don't think that the triplet one, I feel like, would have been, would have been hard. Because what was it called? What was that triplet one? My opinion on active careers in The Sims. We need more of them. ASAP. We need more active careers in The Sims 4. Promotion? I don't know. But yeah, I would really, 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 really love more active careers in The Sims 4. One, because I like going to work with my Sims. I want to see what they're doing, who they're talking to, who's their coworkers, who's their boss, and everything. Plus, I can change the lot if I want to. Gives me a chance to build and renovate stuff. But I feel like we need more active careers, whether it's like going to work with their Sims at an actual building or like the dream home decorator career where we go to a client's home. Like that stuff I really, really loved. Bob said trans rights, and that's why we stand Bob. <laughs> Modern house. Wait, from house sounds nice. It does. And Hobie, welcome in. And you're working on a modern farmhouse. I like that. Give me promotion. Give me promotion. Promotion? Hello? No. Ugh, fine. Well, we're going to get promoted tomorrow anyway. Oh, too many toddlers. That's what it was called. That one? I never did because it looked complicated. It looked scary. I just looked at YouTube videos about it. I'm like, mm -mm, no. Not for me. I think Molly did that video, uh, did that scenario one time. You would like more of them, but I don't, but I don't find them that I use them all the time. I'm the same way. Like if I'm feeling a little, a little bit annoyed at a certain like sim or career where it's like a little bit too repetitive, I just send them to work alone instead of going to work with them. So I don't have to deal with all that nonsense. So I, I feel you on that though. Like I don't like playing with the police career all the time because it's a little bit buggy, but I do have to say if they gave us a chance to, I don't know, have a community voted stuff like, or yeah, a community voted expansion pack that included active careers and gave us a choice of what we think should be in those active careers I would love that what active career would you like them to make wedding planner I would love for them to make a active wedding planner career or a real estate agent career oh that was a triplet you did it <gasps> yay congratulations a witchy dragon would you say it was difficult to to do that scenario 
But yeah, I would love like a real estate agent career that's active or wedding planner or a teacher. It would be very interesting though if <laughs> if we had um, an active career as a teacher where we go to a school and teach, but we couldn't have our kids. I mean, we do have a, a teacher career in The Sims 4 with, with, uh, Dream, with Discovery University, but you know what I mean. Active career landlord. <laughs> I would be a terrible landlord because I would charge people out the wazoo. <laughs> but I would love that. I would actually kind of love that. But I mean, technically we kind of do have, it's not really a career. It's more so like we can already do it. If you have roommates in your household, they pay you rent basically. So I mean, technically you are technically a landlord without being a landlord, you know? It, it was easy if you do toddlers. Yes, give them a Wabbit tablet, they'll be fine. Wabbit tablets will keep them busy all day, every day. A wedding planner would be fun. It would be, think of the things you could do. Oh. A daycare career. That's the one I would really, really love. The daycare career from The Sims 3 was my jam. Imagine running your own daycare center. Think of the possibilities. All the things you could do as a daycare worker. And run your own daycare. Huh, think of the things. I wouldn't mind seeing a singer or an engineer career as an interactive. I wouldn't mind that either. Um, the bath shower. Um, there are a lot of like real life careers that would be interesting to me. Same. I wouldn't mind an engineer, an active engineer career or a singer one either. I'd be down for both actually. But my new one is, uh, what if Bella and Mortimer broke up before they married? <laughs> they got married. I would love to see that because their lives would have been very different. Or what if Bella married Bob and Mortimer married Eliza? What if that happened? That would be very funny. I have Bob get away with, uh, get away from Eliza with one of my Sims. Regardless, if I play with him in every save, just because he stands trans rights, a community. Oh, he stands trans rights. Yes, a community expansion pack would be amazing. It would be. We had a community stuff pack and I think game pack too. So why not an EP? I know they do take longer to make, but like still, you know, I miss the architect career from the Sims three. I used to play it all the time because I loved going to my Sims homes and demolishing their house, but also simultaneously making a lot of money from it. <laughs> that was my, that was my favorite thing to do all the time. I would love to go to university abroad. I would. I want to see my Sims go to like private school or you know boarding school. Would be so much fun. Cause I recently actually sent one of my Sims to boarding school in The Sims Three for my Let's Play, and I have to say it was so bittersweet seeing them leave and then it's like mm, I'm gonna miss them. But they come back like as a new age though when they're when they're done with their term. You did. It was crazy. Oh, I believe you. Eliza seems like she would be. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Eliza gives me Karen vibes. I agree with you. My Sim is certainly dating a landlord, but I don't know how his job works. Now that he lives with my Sim, he makes no money. I don't know how that works either, because if you marry like an NPC Sim, I wonder how that works. Because I have in one of my saves where my Sim... I think her name is, yeah, her name is Aspen O'Connor and she has a roommate that she put an, an ad out for. And that roommate, I think every sim week or every two sim weeks, I guess, I'm assuming, pays my sim rent. And I think it's so cool that happens in the game that my sim earns money and doesn't really need a job to actually do things. Oh, that's the way. 
he had two community stuff packs on just seven if needing oh that's right that's right only two community stuff packs i know we technically we didn't really vote for this but i remember when we were voting for laundry day stuff i think there were like options for like an eco lifestyle type you know pack of course it didn't that option did not win they end up making that into eco lifestyle. So I feel like there's a lot of options from those surveys we've taken in the past that have ended up being like game packs or a certain type of uh, expansion pack with similar features, you know? Yeah, like if we had like a, a singer, like an active sing singer career, we have a band. We get band members, we can maim our band, get royalties, sing songs, go like traveling abroad, like going on tour basically would be so cool. Think of the things you could do. I want to travel. Also, thank you for the hydrate, Bessie, Amanda, appreciate it. Um, but I think that is like, it will be really cool if we were able to go on a tour in The Sims 4. Like, based on what packs you have, or like if you just have base game and like that pack whatever, you could travel via rabbit hole. I feel like that would be so, so cool. Because one of my Sims in The Sims 3 is going to be a singer one day. And I want them to be able to like go on tour and have bandmates and stuff. So I think it'd be really cool. Warden School in The Sims 3 was really interesting. It was like a different concept, but I feel like it would have been fun to go with them, you know? Or like, you know, see what they're up to. Uh, I think after doing daycare in real life, I wouldn't want to do it in The Sims. <laughs> Event planning would be my dream. <laughs> I feel you on that. I remember in The Sims 3, though, it was very chaotic because all of the kids that would end up being spawned in the world and the parents would bring their kids to your house to take care of them. Some will be late, some wouldn't. And I feel as that uh, it will be great, but also chaotic at the same time. So I, I feel you on that. I feel you. I hope they give you the pack early so you can make YouTube videos about it. I hope so. That'd be nice. <laughs> I mean, nine times out of ten, they would. But, you know, I can never guarantee that. So, I hope so. I hope whatever pack that we're getting as a game pack, I can play it early and then I can make so many YouTube videos about it and stream it. Because I would never stop talking about it. If we got generations, I would never stop talking. Ever. And also, Charlie Pancake, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing today? You're playing a bit of The Sims yourself on the side while watching. Ooh, multitasking. We're currently playing the Not So Berry Challenge at the moment, and we're working really, really, really hard on this last level of our career so we can move on to Generation 9, and I can age them up and give them a nice, decent makeover. Because I want to build their house, but I also want to be able to, um, you know, take my time with it. Recreate My Chemical Romance in The Sims since I will never be able to catch them live IRL. Same. Or Evanes Evernescence. My Chemical Romance, Evernescence, Paramore are my favorite bands of all time. I mean, there is like All American Rejects. There is also Green Day. I mean, I feel like they've been really cool. Yeah, The Sims 3 had bands. I haven't really had a chance to really go full in depth with it myself. Because it's been a very long time. But we, yeah, we had bands in The Sims 3. So my Sims an elder. Is it better to have him just retire and collect pension or use up as a vacation days than retire? Do you make more vacation days versus a pension? Mm. I feel like what, at least for me, I always have my elder sims retire towards like half of their elder life stage. Like if they literally just age them into an elder, I would wait until like halfway through and then retire. 
That way they're not stressed and you're not doing too much because sometimes I'm scared and I feel like my elder sons are going to drop dead at any moment if they still have a job. If that makes sense. Hopefully that helps you. And also, Luzette, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome in. Hello, hello. You went to boarding school, IRL in high school. How was it? How was boarding school back then? Either way, uh, either y'all mods are fast or y'all psychic. Both. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Elders are scary to me because I always feel like they're going to die. But one time I actually had one of my elders go back to university because one, they re they're retired. And I thought, oh, they should get some education, you know, as a uh, last minute request of learning something. That's what I do. Good water. Good soup. You liked watching into the future and what cha make changes and go back and see the changes I made in the past. <gasps> oh, see, we were saying, we were actually talking about that a very long time ago, actually. How we should have like an into the past type of pack in The Sims 4. Because we had into the future, but I feel like going into the past would be more fun. Are you good? Just because, like, you know, think of the things you could do. You know, I'd be all over that. I loved into the future because changing the future and having it reflect through the past is very interesting. Well, uh, you know, I've always wanted to see if my sim would disappear if I had deleted certain sims and change the timeline like by dating one of my relatives without having them be my relatives <laughs> i wanted to make my family tree jacked up you stress your elder sim too much and i felt kind of bad when i when it finally went wrong oh no i get too concerned of them like what's gonna happen i don't want them to die i want them to live sometimes i really strive for them to meet their great grandkids if they're lucky if they're lucky they it doesn't happen all the time but you know it's there having elders in uni is a fun time it is i had one of my elder sims uh study study to become a doctor and luckily they graduated before they died think of the things if we could go into the past that would change the present and the future I mean, technically, you kind of can go back into the past, but not really. Because you know that time machine that we have in The Sims 3? There's an option to, I think, have a Sim come from the past into the present. Because I saw in a video at one point that, hap that happens with Into the Future, and I was, like, kind of blown away. I'm like, oh, okay, this is interesting. The clothes in Into the Future are really cool, too. Uh, if we had an Into the Past pack, what time would it go back into? I would think Roaring Twenties. Yeah, I would think that. Because I wouldn't necessarily would want to go back into the 1800s, because that would be daunting. But I think, like, the Roaring Twenties was, like, a good era. Give or take a few. <laughs> um... I think it would be more fun because when you think about it, we had the Roaring Heights store content and that was the Roaring Twenties and that was a really fun like world to go to. I think that'd be really cool. Either Roaring Twenties or the 1940s. This sim is so pretty. Thank you. I made her myself. She looks stressed. Um, she is actually the peach gen of the Not So Berry Challenge. And our family tree is this right now at the moment, of course. However, it should be bigger. But my other save file is so corrupted that I could not play in it. So I had to move gen 6 and 7 to a new save. So it was more playable. 
Ooh, Great Gatsby and everything. Oh, yes. I would love to see that. You know, I was also thinking of medieval style as well. Medievals or like Stone Age. <laughs> no, it just blended with her skin. <laughs> uh, can you imagine if they gave us a future expansion and you could just see your eco footprint with the eco living pack? That would be really cool. Mass destruction or an evergreen world. <laughs> That would be really, really cool. Solar panels, like based on your eco footprint, like depends, no, determines your future. How does the chief and get a police report from a civilian? You're the chief. Now I need to talk to you first. Uh, talk to the chief. Stop being scared. You're fine. Anyway. You'd be okay with the nineteen with with and nineteen forties or maybe fifties or seventies. I feel like the fifties like are, are like a, a good medium, you know, a good medium of two. But think of it: the Stone Ages, all the possibilities that could happen. Discovering fire technology. Imagine bringing the, a phone to the Stone Ages. That'd be wild. I was like, uh-oh, CC broken. <laughs> you know, it happens. It happens in my game. Nine times out of ten and my, my CC breaks. Sometimes a sim is missing a foot. Not gonna lie, I'm sus that maybe there will be a sim for medieval since game change just have been playing it recently. I don't know. I feel like we have some influence, but nothing that really influences a lot of things. <laughs> I don't know. I would be down for a medieval pack. Like if we could change the way, like if we could literally have a Sims for medieval pack because a lot of Simmers are playing Sims with evil, I would play more often because I love Sims with evil. It's so good. That would be cool. All your choices change the world. Exactly. Like imagine, okay. You bring a phone to the Stone Ages. A cave man or cave a cave person basically finds this phone, uses it, discovers technology for the very first time, and who knows what year it, it might be. And then you go to the present, it literally changes everything. Oh, it'll be so wild. You want to see the 80s because Queen was still touring, and I love that band. I love Queen. I was watching Bo Bohem Rhapsody yesterday on Hulu because I love that movie. Freddie Mercury is so talented and I need to watch the Beatles documentary on Disney Plus because I love the Beatles. The Beatles are great. Ma'am, stop being sad. You're fine. I need to also issue an APB at some point. You but like in any decade pack that would get us home lines. Oh, you know how many times I wanted a landline, a landline in The Sims 4, a landline. <laughs> it makes me feel so old because sometimes occasionally I'll like, I won't say my age. Oh, I don't really mention my age half the time, but like I talk about like a VCR or a, um, a cassette tape or dial up or um having to rewind back my videos to rewatch my movie all over again and i'm like people like it happens all the time but sometimes a person will say what's that i'm like i'm gonna stop talking because i'm like i can't do it anymore i give up no more not like this I really miss the days of like VCRs and landlines because those were fun. It made you remember people's phone numbers. <laughs> Since for a LARPing pack, GeekCon would be revolutionary. It would be revolutionary if we had LARPing. It would be like the tip of the iceberg of like, no, it'd be the cherry on top 
That's what we need. A LARPing. LARPing. It took me far too long to be able to get to tell the early Beatles apart. Same, because they kind of they kind of looked all alike, which is scary. Not us talking about somebody dying. Please tell me we're gonna get promoted. I want to get promoted today. Today. 29 minutes. Okay, so I have how long? An hour left. So it's gonna maybe go on patrol, pushing out an APB if I have time. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Ooh, a post-apocalyptic pack. I'd be down for that. Because you all know I love abandoned builds. You ever feel your bones uh freaking from old age? Yes. My bones tend to crack a lot and pop, and it's not great. I hate it. Also, Melly, thank you for the posture check, by the way. But yeah, not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of my bones cracking and creaking. So I'm like, what's wrong with my knee? It makes no sense. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, let's issue out an APB. Arrest a Sim. One last time. Snap, crackle, pop, rice, krispies. I agree about what you, uh, what you and everyone said. Landlines in Sims 4, we need them like right now. On a petition, let's go. The only number I remember now is just my own because of takeout orders and my mom. And my mom's because it gets me a discount at the store. Love that for us. Not that being a joke. It's like your ex, that's the punchline. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it. You would like to make apartments in The Sims 3 and Woohoo Elevators? Yes. I don't know if you could try for a baby though in The, in the Sims 3 in the elevator. I just knew you could Woohoo in there. You have a... I have deal EDS, so Snap, Crackle, Pop is my movie soundtrack. <laughs> Snap, Crackle, Pop, Rice Krispies. Now, Rice Krispies are the cereal. It's not really great because I only eat my cereal plain. So eating it just that is eh. Also, Pine, welcome in. How are you doing today? I remember my mom's number because she had the same one for 15 years. I mean, that's smart. Easy to remember. You've been waiting to use this. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so we have a criminal on the loose who's gloomy, wearing shorts, female, brown hair, young adult, and wearing a long sleeve shirt. We found the criminal. We found the culprit. Wearing shorts, female, brown hair, long sleeve shirt. You're going to jail. <laughs> you want burglars back? I feel like burglars would make me feel terrified because burglars are scary. Nine times out of 10 they are because they'll steal the most craziest stuff or the most valuable stuff. But in The Sims 3, they were just like, sorry to say this word, but they were dumb. The Sims 3 burglars were dumb because they would steal the most craziest stuff like a toilet or a chair. I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you stealing my toilet? Do you even have a house? You know? I like my ex, so I'm seeing her this weekend with some friends for Chinese New Year meal because I can't make it sooner. I'm sorry. Then your ex is not a joke then. You miss the smartphones that would actually break in The Sims 3. I remember that. I remember your, if you had dropped your smartphone in The Sims 3, it would break and you had to get it fixed. I would think that she's gloomy. Wait. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was a criminal. That's a civilian. Wait, where's she at? Where's the criminal? Wait a minute. Where is she? Go where is she at? Oh, she's right here. Oh, 
I was like, where's the criminal? I can't find you. They're right there. No, like the TV is right there. Literally. I'm not kidding. I got robbed in The Sims 3 the, like a couple of weeks ago. They stole my toilet, a chair, and also I think they stole a couch. And I'm like, you literally could have stolen my TV that was like 10,000 simoleons, but okay. I found out the next day they were my next door neighbor. The burglar was my next door neighbor. So you know what I did? I burned their house down. And I'm like, you thought you could do it again? You thought wrong. I remember, I remember learning burglars uh, were a thing in The Sims. I'm like, ah, The Sims, okay. Sims 1, when you get robbed, that's more terrifying because the noises that would it make would be scary. <laughs> they also saw your couch. Like, why? Oh, you tagged me on Facebook or something? Okay. I'll look at it later then. But yeah, I'm like, why would you steal my couch and my toilet when you live right next door? Funny enough, they were richer than me. Like, you don't need a toilet. You steal from me, you bur I burn your house down. This is not how it works. Like, who do you think you are? <laughs> I exited it quickly. It really did. I'm like, you don't steal from my sins. My sins are already poor enough. They can't afford nice things. All right, some responsibility, The Sims 3. I also got, um, I didn't get sued for slander. I sued a Sim for slander because um, they basically were being very, very rude and they attacked me, so I sued them for slander. They were also my ex, so I sued them. And then, um, of course I won. And you know what was even funnier though? That burglar was the ex. And so I burned their house down the next day and then I deleted them. So first they attacked me. I sued them for slander. Then they robbed my house and then they burned their house down. So, yeah. Same energy at, as leading toddlers who cry and ruin weddings in The Sims 3. What? I never did that. I would tend, I would delete the zombies that would appear. Also, they would steal your car, too. I miss car alarms. I think in The Sims 2, I think it would cost your Sims 250 simoleons, I think, or 500 to um, get a car alarm installed. My Sim is poor. Current Sim has 203,000 simoleons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a casual, you know, 200K. It's fine. However, I'm going to use most of this money for the next gen's home. Case closed. And I got a promotion. Besties, we did it. We did it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We did it, besties. We finally completed generation eight of the not so very challenge. My Sims are poor. In certain challenges, they are not. But this one, they're quite rich. I am done. <laughs> Finally. It may have taken 84 years to get here, but we did it. Finally. One of your Sims, we one of the Sims I married in the Black Widow Challenge it was the lottery winner. So now I have loads of money. We love that for you. My Sims never win the lottery, ever. They've only won it one time, one time in one save file, and then every save file after that, nothing, nothing. And I'm like, I just want to win another time so I can pay off my student loans in The Sims. You know, that's what I need. And you know what's even great about this? is that it's Gen 9's birthday today. So they'll be aging up into a teenager literally today, Ivy Berry. Miss Cars in the Sims a whole, like bring them back. 
I, I miss the carpool. I miss also the, um, the school bus. More so the school buses were very fun. And I guess carpools, depending on what career it was. You want to drive your coworkers in my overpriced sedan again? <laughs> it's like, just hop into my overpriced sedan and we'll all be good. Yeah. I miss those days. Those were like the, my favorite days of carpooling. And I remember I had like, um, I made like this apartment complex and I had all of my Sims have like the same career and they were all carpool together. And I thought it was so nice and amazing. They all would like go to work together and come back home together in the same car. It was just so much fun, honestly. Your burning neighbor's house is down. Maybe why little Simsy and Rochella always think you're guilty. No. No. I don't think so. I guess because I'm a Pisces and my enemies are Leos, so. Could happen. <laughs> I don't know. Shella doesn't like me because she's a Leo and I'm a Pisces and I'm an enemy with a uh, with Leos. Um, oh. yeah. And Wally Tan, thank you for giving a gift sub to Canoe Lights. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Please and thank you. Can we get some hype in the chat? For that brand new gifted sub. I said that backwards, but um, yeah. Thank you for the gift of subdue wallet, Hannah. I appreciate it. Make the cake. Thank you. My Sims always know the person who won for the odd for odd for some odd reason. That's interesting. I mean, works in their favor for them. I wish I had that luck, honestly. Yours has never won, but actually, I like that it's such a rare thing to happen. Me too, because like if it happened every single time, the game would be kind of boring. Because personally for me, I don't like being rich in The Sims. Because when you have so much money, you basically can buy anything you want. And the game gets kind of repetitive. I forgot we had Repo Men back. So if you have Discovery University and you don't pay back your student loans, they'll literally take your stuff. And I find that very funny because it will happen in IRL. And also, the Wallet Hand, thank you for giving another gift sub to Abby Grimm. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wait, ill 207. Now it's even. My sim my Sims find the lottery winner, marries them, and then have an unfortunate disappearance. Oh, hmm. An unfortunate disappearance. How shocking. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's not Zoom Zoom. Where is my Zoom? Oh, here it is. How unfortunate. How unfortunate that he just randomly disappeared. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Leos are Pisces enemies. I'm a Pisces and my son's Leo. Uh! Oh no, not like this. Oh no, Pine, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no. I mean, if we do reach our sub goal, Angie Faze, it could happen. It could happen. It could happen. Uh, the pettiest reasons to give a gift sub, <laughs> like when it's not even. Okay, why is that me during charity streams every time? Every time, I'm not kidding. It's a thing that happens. Um, when the number is uneven, or it is not at 69. I'm just like, mm, I'm going to donate money to charity so it's fixed. And then it ha someone donates on top of my donation and it ruins everything. I'm like, I can't do this every time. <laughs> it's me. My parents both Leos. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Wait, where is my cake? I thought you just made it. Wait. In your image, ma'am. No, not like this. Not today. Oh no, Pine. I feel so bad. <laughs> your son's a Leo and you're a Pisces. But you love them either way. How bizarre. I know. I feel like Leos are truly cancerous enemies because I had so many Leos in my life and all those relationships 
were ba went bad. Oh, Lordy Lou. <laughs> it's not good. Ivy, it's your birthday. Time to age up. Oh, another thing too that I wish we had back in The Sims 4. Um, what they were what they were called um video cameras. We had them in The Sims 3, where you could like videotape everything, like birthdays, um, weddings, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Like I missed that in The Sims 3. And I still use it every single day when I play the game. But I want it in The Sims 4. You're not a fan of Virgos? But Jenna Marbles is a Virgo. Meanwhile, my brother and I are both Virgos. Imagine the chaos in the household. Oh my gosh. Oh, what happened to your eyeballs, madam? I better find out now so I'll be able to prepare my for my teenage years. Yes. Preparation is key. <laughs> Have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here, Amanda Chapman. I appreciate the company as always. I will see you hopefully next time in another stream. Tomorrow, we're actually playing The Sims 3. So if you haven't seen The Sims 3 in a long time, tomorrow is your chance. Oh, wait, that's so cute. Wait, I love this. This is nice. That's a good thumbnail photo. I like that. <laughs> They're an evil child. I feel you. Yeah. You love the green hair. Me too. I mean, now that my Sim is aged up finally, I can give them proper outfits and proper hair because I have more CC for them. <laughs> Gives me more chances to go and create a Sim, you know? The chaos which of two Leo parents. My parents are both Virgos. I'm a Gemini. My sister's a Leo. Oh my good. That's an interesting household. That's a lot of chaos. <laughs> Your mom's a Leo and I'm a Pisces. I'm excited to see how Ivy looks. Thank you. Your mom's a Leo and you're a Pisces. Interesting. A lot of chaoticness in the house that I see today in the chat. <laughs> wow. The Zodiac choices uh, was fun too. Yes. I miss the Zodiac signs in The Sims 3. We had them in The Sims 2 and it was so accurate too on how it would work. So for Gen 9, we need to have the computer whiz aspiration. So I believe that's in the knowledge. Yes, computer whiz aspiration for Gen 9. Oh my, the hair. Stacy, thank you for the host. You miss the cinematic cutscenes. The Sims 2 has some major, major cutscenes for like life changing events. I believe if you do exclamation mark cutscenes in the chat, it will tell you, or no, it will give you a link to a YouTube video of all The Sims 2 cutscenes if you want to give it a look see. That is not what you do for that cheat. There you go. That's better. Cast dot edit mode one. There you go. Your husband's a Leo and you're an Aquarius. My daughter's a Libra. Oh! Wow. You have two Pisces and three Cancers in your household. Oh, mm. Mm. Sorry, I don't know why I wrote one with the word <laughs> one, not. Oh my gosh. My hubby and I are both Taurus, so that's fun. Both stubborn. We love that. <laughs> we love that. Oh, you know, compatibility. Watermelon, green hair, yeah. My sim has wrinkles, no. Also, your eyebrows are gray and non-existent. There you go, Beth, there we go. That's better. There you go. I'm gonna give her a complete makeover. Her eyebrows are gone. They were just gray. Gray eyebrows were not in the cards for my sim today. It really wasn't. It really wasn't. I want to give you dimples. I'm going to give you this one. I have a lot of CC in my game, by the way. It's like, it's just too much. I like variety. And you're an Aries and your mom's a Capricorn. Your father's a Virgo and your brother's a Pisces. I'm literally a target nonstop. I'm so sorry, Chippy. That's not fun. 
You're always being accused for something that you never did. It's sad. You miss The Sims 2? I miss it all the time. We're playing that on Thursday. So I'm actually kind of excited for this week because we're all we're playing Sims every single day this week. Different variations of the game. She's so cute. She really is great genetics from her mother. Her father, not so much. What did they give her? This poor teen. I don't know. Randomized teens get the most randomized uh, outfits and hairstyles, and it's concerning. The dimples are just so uwu. I think I have them in my mods list, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is a glorious day. I love Create a Sim. It's my favorite place to be, as you all know. I can spend hours in cast and just make over any Sim because I have so much custom content for all of my Sims. Teens and up, children and toddlers, not so much. It's just so good. I love it so much. Growing up with Pisces parents, really having uh, always feeling guilty problems. Yep. I don't like being a Pisces because I always feel like I'm always doing something wrong, which is not great. And I'm just like, what did I do wrong? Why do I feel like this? Why do I feel like I'm going to cry every five seconds? It's awful. I don't like it. It's icky. Icky, 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 icky. There we go. Ooh, this is a nice shade of green. I like this one. <laughs> you love the short hair. The short hair does fit her. I don't know. I feel like I have so many choices. It's kind of a problem. I like it and I don't like it at the same time because all these choices. And I'm like, why? Please. No. <laughs> I think it's the medium hairstyle that I like the most. It was the, it was that hairstyle that you saw, the short hairstyle one, which now I can't remember where I saw it. Oh, it's by Clumsy Alien, that's why. It's right here. Why do I love that hair? Wait, this hair right here? This hair looks fantastic. Clumsy Alien is so good at making custom content. I mean, of course, there's so many who make CC, of course, but I'm just like, wow. You have a, a soft spot for Pisces. I'm also a Pisces moon. Ooh, woo. It's nice. Being a Pisces has its ups and downs. I would say, you know, a lot of curveballs here and there. Sometimes you feel a little bit overly emotional. Sometimes you feel, you know, you can conquer the world. It just varies, honestly. It really varies. You just don't know what to expect until it actually happens. Oh my, no. Let me give you your eyelashes, bestie. So give me some earrings. I wanna give you your eyelashes. There we go, she looked pretty. Sometimes I don't think our zodiac signs are accurate as some people think. I think they're fun, but I try to remind myself that I'm still an individual. Same. Like when I read my like zodiac sign, which I still need to like look at my uh, moon rising and or my moon sign and my sun sign to see what I am. But when I looked at Pisces, I'm like, this is too accurate because it's literally my life. It just look, it's not fair. It's not fair. But why does the sim look so great? Why do I love the sim so much? How is one sim this adorable, right? Make it make sense. I don't understand. It's unfair. Sims look this beautiful. And I hate it. I hate it. Oh, she was wearing Island this whole time. Oh, wait, no, she wasn't. It's just her natural eyes. Unfair. Anyway. Eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. Mm, not green eyeshadow. Let's not go there. Let's not go down that lane. 
You look so great, thank you. I spend my days in cast and it's a sad problem, but a good problem that I think we all should adopt. You randomly got interviewed by Glamour one time for about horoscopes. Really? I don't know. Is that Equippy? Is that um, Maggie that's um, basically killed me one time in Among Us and ran away from a, uh, ran away from a murder? In Among Us? Equippy, hi. How are you doing today, Bestie? I hope you are doing good today. Welcome, welcome in, everyone. Uh, what skin do I use? If you do exclamation mark mods in the chat, it will tell you, uh, uh, Raya. Raya? Yeah, that's not it. That's not the name. But yeah, I only use one skin detail that I use on a daily, but if you do as much work mods, it'll tell you. Um, I love committing murder right in front of you. I literally, okay. My life flashed before my eyes because I saw Simsy. I knew Miv was behind me, but I didn't see you. Like my life was like, it was like, I didn't see you at all. I'm like, okay. And then I saw two dead bodies. I'm like, okay, this is crazy. What happened? I had to go back and look at him like, this is ridiculous. How did I not see Maggie? I could have literally, how do you kicked out? I was ready. I was ready, but I wasn't ready. <laughs> I said it right. Nice, Raya. And you're welcome, by the way. Uh, and this is cute. Thank you so much. Um, we're actually playing the Not So Berry Challenge today. And we just finished Gen 8. And we just aged up Gen 9. So... Today's a great day, by the way, besties. And Maggie, I hope your stream went well. Um, I don't know what you were doing. I wish I knew. I Usually I know what you're doing, but I, I didn't know what today. I was waiting for you to say, I saw Maggie run away, and then you said, I didn't see who it was. <laughs> you were shocked. I, like, I'm telling you, my life flashed before my eyes. I didn't see anything. I was, I was afraid that I was going to get blamed. So I panicked and said, we will just crazy like, oh, ma'am. No, your eyebrows don't do that. Please don't. Um, I'm just like, oh, oh, you're playing the career legacy. Ooh, how is that? By the way, how is that going for you? What are you on gen three at the moment? Cause I think that's when the last time I watched your stream, which was a, a while ago. We love the sim, thank you. I feel like my sims just have this unique style. They carry on this genetic, this, these genetics from these previous sims, AKA their relatives, and just pass it down with good genes. They're cute genes. Do you have eyebrows with a slit in them? I do. I usually get all of my eyebrows from praline sims and only but praline sims. But why is the sim so hot? Why do I love the sim a lot? That is not green, that is blue. Um, but yeah, I only use praline sims for all of my eyebrows because their eyebrows are fantastic. It was good, you're on gen three and your gen three just gave birth to triplets. Karma. I sent those triplets to you. So um, enjoy. This is what you get, Maggie. Double murder. You get triplets. The kids are named Mug, Bucket, and Lava. Oh my gosh. May the odds forever be in their favor. <laughs> I love that for them. Oh, the sim is so cute. Oh, I love The Sims so much. I can spend my days in cast and never leave. Why is this so much fun? Why do I love cast? Okay, this is really fun. Okay, no, I'm gonna pick an outfit. There we go. I will say I did cheat to have triplets on purpose. I had triplets by accident last gen though. I love that for you. What did you do with the rest of the with the rest of the kids? I can't handle triplets. 
I mean, I can, but I choose not to. I get very overwhelmed. I don't know where to put them. So I sometimes put my kids outside in the game if I don't have space in my own home. <laughs> I accidentally aged up one of my Sims in my one of my legacies and I panicked. I was nervous. I was just, uh, I couldn't do it anymore. Green. Mm. I want to give you these. I was like, why does she give me Tinkerbell vibes? Oh, uh, wait. All my old Sims were off married and having kids and they've gotten jobs. They're thriving. That's good. We love a thriving legacy family. They understood the assignments. You go out, you get married, have some kids, get divorced every couple of generations or so, make money. They understood the assignments. Very, very poggies. <laughs> hey, Savvy, welcome in. Oh, hello. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome in. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a bracelet. No, not that one, doesn't work. I'm gonna give you mm, this one. Cute. She's a little green bean. <laughs> the green beaniest of the green beans. I didn't buy any green beans this time. I was going to buy green beans, but I'm like, I wasn't feeling, I was in a green bean mood. So I bought corn instead. I love green, I love corn. That's not child neglect at all. No, not at all. No, 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 no. No, I wouldn't. No, that's not child neglect at all. Putting your kids outside when you have no room in your own home. Not at all. I do not remember downloading this at all, but um, it's in my game. Okay. Cool. Love that for me. Um, But I'm doing really good though today. I had a very fun day today, actually. Because if y'all didn't see my tweet earlier today on Twitter, which you can follow me just on Spring Sims. It is no longer Spring underscore Sims. It's just Spring Sims as my Twitch name. And I love that. Um, but I announced that I'm a part of Twitch's Celebrating Black Brilliance campaign for Black History Month. So all month long, I may appear on the front recommended shelf on the front page of Twitch. So I think that's really cool. So if you didn't see it, you can check my Twitter. It's a great time, honestly, I would say. No, I really love corn. No, corn's like a really good thing to eat. Like ever since I was a, a child, I used to mix my corn with my mashed, my mashed potatoes a lot because I thought it was really tasty. More so, mixing them together from the uh, banquet dinners that you get from the grocery store, like those TV dinners. Mix your corn and mashed potatoes together. It was an, a good, good dish. I loved it. Loved it. I totally did not let CPS take my Sims children because I totally did not give up on said child Sim. Totally did not do that. Yeah, I totally didn't do that, no. Never would be you, no. Never captain, no, no. Never would be you. <laughs> never, never, never. Thank you. I honestly was like so excited because the way it happened is that Twitch, um, that's not her right eyeball, but um, okay. Twitch has like this thing in like your, I think in your Twitch settings, I think everyone has it. Even Maggie has it too. If you um, fill out that um, marketing survey, that's how you get picked for activations on Twitch. And I thought it was, I was like, sign me up. I'm ready. Let's go. Cause I'm like, let's go. I, I'm on the shelf. Really? I want to see myself. My stream was on the Twitch blog today, by the way. Where is that? Oh, here it is. So this is what it looks like on uh, on Twitch. If you haven't seen it before. So if you go to twitch.tv, 
uh, you'll see like this like normal carousel right here of like streams. And then you'll like, see like, you know, live channels that you'll like, and then you have like these uh, categories right here. I don't know what this is right here. I don't know why that's there. Um, but then you'll see um, this right here is called Celebrate Black Brilliance. And there'll be like a bunch of like black content creators on Twitch that are streaming at the moment that you'll see it throughout the month. And um, of course it'll be like this many, probably more, I think. There's like, I think over 1600 black Twitch streamers that'll be featured on this like recommended shelf throughout the entire month. And some will be featured on like the front page on this carousel right here throughout the month as well. And it's so cool because black is beauty and black is great. I'm just saying. Manifesting Twitch ambassador, crossing my fingies and toesies. I did not see your long message because it didn't post. Um, you got the switch OLD today. You did? How do you like it? How do you like it? Let me know. Cause I want to get the switch, uh, OLD at one point so I can start a new Island an all yellow Island. And thank you so much, Les. I appreciate that. I wasn't really thinking that they would post my stream on, um, or like a screenshot of my stream from uh, the carousel thing on their blog, but they did. I'm like, wait, what? Black is beautiful, I agree. Imagine, and it's my birthday month. I'm gonna be turning 26 on the 22nd of February. So I feel like if it happens, I might just ascend into heaven because I will be deceased and not knowing how to act because I would be Twitch ambassador. I'd be crazy. I'd be crazy. Um, you love my something. Thank you. I feel like this dress is weird, but it's fine. I'll leave it. I'll leave the dress. Um, and you're loving it so far. Okay, good. Cause I know that the screen is bigger on the OLD one, ma'am. What is this? Who dressed you? I did not dress you like that, madam. You know what you're going to wear? You're going to wear all green. That is what you're going to wear. You're going to wear this and you're going to like it. <laughs> you're going to wear this and you're going to like it and not complain. And tested out the speakers by watching a music video uh, for Blank Space by Taylor Swift, as one should. T Swift is pretty great, honestly. I found it very funny when she went off on that one musical artist saying that she's gonna write her own songs. I kind of laughed a little bit because I'm like, that person does not know Taylor Swift at all. She writes her own songs. Who are you? The kickstand is a billion times better. Wait, there's a kick. Oh, wait, there is a kickstand. I never use it. I always forget about the kickstand. There we go. I guess I should actually change her eyeballs, of course, to the correct color of her generation. But um, anyway, if you haven't played the Not So Berry Challenge, I do recommend it to everyone and their mother. One, because it was made by my friend Kayla, Little Simsy, and Always Simming. It's a 10 generation long legacy challenge. It's a great time. You should go for it. Each gen is a different color career, aspiration, skills. It's just a whole nine yard. Also, it's fine to sing songs you didn't write yourself. That is also very true. That is also very true. I know a lot of people do that all the time. I know a lot of people have been singing um, Santa Baby. I know many. Ariana Grande, I think Mariah Carey, somebody else. But that's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know. But I kind of like Ariana Grande's Santa Baby song. It's kind of a bop. Not gonna lie. Kind of a bop. Ooh, wait, this is pretty. You know, certain swatches have some good vibes. I've never seen this before in my life. But I like it. I want to wear this one. Ooh, pretty. Taylor Swift just had just has in the whole album. She 
broke completely by herself at 19. Exactly. Did you hear that Tori Kelly is coming out with a new album? I found that out through TikTok because she posted a TikTok saying, what should my album be called? And people were more like, album? And then I found out Rihanna's pregnant. So I'm like, um, what? Okay. So that was something I found out the other day. I'm like, okay, cool. What? We wait, anyone know if all adult Sims just have under eye? Under eye, wait, under eye bags now? Um, well, young adults don't. Um, if like a full on adult adult, they'll like be more prominent. So yes, all adults have them. But young adults don't have them as much. The more they age, the more older they look. <laughs> wait, you don't, wait, are you serious, Tyler? Do you don't, you don't, you don't know who Tori Kelly is? Have you seen the movie Sing? Tori Kelly is a very underrated artist because she doesn't do certain things. Like some other people have done. I'm not gonna play her music because I don't want to get sued by her. However, she was on American Idol in 2010 in the ninth season. Um, she's an R&B pop soul gospel singer. She's 29 years old. She played. She plays Mina in Sing One and Two. This is what she looks like. Uh, where is Tori Kelly? There she is. Hoo hoo hee hee. I've heard the name. I've you've seen seen like once. Okay, okay, but yeah, Rihanna is pregnant. She is pregnant. Oh, that's not it. Well, it is, but it's yeah. That's Tori Kelly. That's what she looks like. Tori of the Kelly. Kelly Tori, Kelly Torrington, Torish Kellington. No, I didn't see it. I don't think your messages are posting though. I would break them up and paragraphs if it's like very long but i also do have my twitch moderation settings set differently so maybe your message isn't posting because of a certain thing might be a certain word i'm thinking also shella shellington hi welcome in bestie how was your hunt did you find who you were looking for today I don't follow stuff much. It's all good. All good. I mean, Tori Kelly is like my favorite artist. And I mean, I only knew about Rihanna being pregnant from Twitter being her trending. I'm like, oh, okay. Nice to know. <laughs> uh, how did I not learn that? Thank you for answering. You're welcome. Maybe from using too much CC skins. And now I have none. I'm always happy to help. Y'all know one person that would break the internet if you got pregnant in the future? No, who? Oh, yeah. If Taylor Swift was pregnant, she would break the internet. Yeah. Literally. You're crying. Thank you so much, Shella. I honestly was so happy. Like, I filled out the survey. You know, the marketing survey that you have in your, your uh, settings? I filled it out. And they said, you're accepted. Your participation is approved. And I was like, thank you. I cried because I've always wanted to be a part of this. So I was part of the pride one. And now I'm part of the black brilliance one. And like, this is like a dream come true. Manifesting Twitch ambassador this month. Maybe this year. I would love that. I would love to be Twitch ambassador. Be really nice. And then I can demand Twitch to change it to um from purple to yellow yeah you didn't find your sheep they must hate you that's sad that's a hate crime that's a hate crime if you if they didn't show up as hate that's a hate crime ban the sheep <laughs> ban the sheep okay i'm gonna change your outfit um you didn't send if it's a right fit or not learning more towards yes. Oh, leaning towards more yes and no. That's good. The social, the social studies teacher was supposed to 
was supposed to meet canceled on me and then she said I was gonna pick up the textbook and she emailed me during the meeting what in the world your social sub teacher is wild the <laughs> Did they give you a legit reason why they canceled though is the thing? And then to people's celebrities. Yeah, personally, like for me, I don't really go full on like fan crazy of learning about celebrities' lives because I don't think they're celebrities, they're just people. You know? That's what I think. They're just people with a hierarchy of status and money. Oh no, you're fine. You're all good. <laughs> you're fine. Shella, embrace the yellow. Enjoy it. One of these days I'll work for EA and then I'll say, um, can we just cancel all purple and just add more yellow? You want the OG Sims console game? You get remade before the Switch? I'd be down for that. We could wear all yellow and unite. Yes, we should do it. And, uh, wait. Cat Horrible, thank you for the Prime sub. I appreciate it so, so much. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat, please? And thank you for that brand new Prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely not. Mm, I don't know about that. Mm, I think absolutely yes. I mean, I'll change my mind if the sweaters win. I want the chat to sweat. I will find a way to make the number for the sweaters to win. Mark my words, Shella Shellington, the sweaters will win. Oh no, it's uneven now. Oh no, not 209, it's uneven. I like that full body cutout bodysuit. It is cute. I think some of the outfits in the game are really cute. I do hope that one day we'll get more swimsuits like this. It'll be really nice. I don't know. I like all of them. They're very flattering. You love purple and yellow. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Tomorrow's the last day. I'll check my bank account for that then. Mark my words. I will look at my bank account, see what I have, and then um, it'll be destroyed. <laughs> I'll do it at the. I'll do it at the last second. The very last second of the stream. And then you'll have to accept it. You'll have to sweat. Uh, does the Switch games download in sleep mode? I think they do. But I'm not entirely sure if they do or not. I'm going to say yes, but I have never tested that theory yet. Oh, wait, this is so cute. <laughs> Honestly, bestie enemy, embrace. <laughs> but then again, I don't have that much money. So I did just pay rent today and my bank account is crying. So sorry, not sorry, question mark. <laughs> Where are your eyeballs? Here they are. I need to really go through my CC folder. It's kind of a mess. Your partner's favorite color is yellow. Yours is purple. This debate is a constant. It's like a constant in our household. Interesting. Interesting. It's not great. <laughs> you know, what's so funny though, is that I'm a Pisces and my friend Rochella is a Leo. But when you look on Google of seeing who Pisces should avoid, one of them's a Leo. So is your partner like the opposite zodiac sign that you should avoid? <laughs> I don't know why, but it just sounds crazy. You love purple, yeah, interesting. Mm, interesting, interesting. I see where your true love lies then. Mm, I'm just kind of sad about that, honestly. Why do I have all this lipstick in my game? I need to literally delete half of this stuff. It's kind of messy. Urban counts do be crying after bills. It really do. I'm like, oof. Luckily, it's not as crazy because I pay 
$1,630 a month um, to live in my apartment. <laughs> Nearly almost $1,700 a month to live here in my apartment. It's a two bedroom apartment, two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. It's newly like, you know, newly made. No one else has lived here. So I feel like it's reasonable, but, but, but still kind of just yikes. I don't like it. SMH, SMH my head savvy, SMH. SMH, I know what you did. You don't have to apologize because I know what you did. You said what you said. Saying that I love a certain color. Unacceptable. SMH, SMH, my head. Mm -mm -mm. Cannot believe it's my own mod against me. SMH. Anyway. What did you do? Well, you were saying, um, I thought you were agreeing with Dab with the clip that, uh, she posted. <laughs> um, you're a Pisces and the guy I'm talking to is a Leo. Uh, avoid it. Run while you can. Run. Run while you can. <laughs> Oh my. Uh, Dab, why? Why, why, why? Rent in Germany is high in many places, but in the US, US rent sounds really crazy. It is. The US is jacked up. What's wrong with Leo's? Nothing. Blame Google. Google said. I should avoid I should avoid Leo's. But I can't avoid my bestie. Unacceptable. How else am I going to yell and scream and you do wish smile? How else am I supposed to do that, you know? My brain last summer. For two bedrooms, not terrible. I cannot live in my home state because one bedroom is around 2400. That's ridiculous. That is Absolutely ridiculous. I could never do that. Mm -mm. Uh. Anyway. Uh. I can't wait. F uh, I can't wait until you learn your moon and rising. I feel like you can explore so much more. Me too. I definitely got to ask my, my parents, like, what time was I born? Like, I know I was, I was born on um, February 22nd, 1996. But the thing is, I don't know what time I was born. It's probably on my birth certificate, I guess, but I have no idea. Where are your true eyebrows? Not eyebrows, eyeballs. There we go. Perfect. Cute. And you're a Taurus and you avoid Leos? Interesting. And your fingers slipped? Interesting. Yes, the University of Google. Yes. Sue them. It had to be done. People must know the shoes. No, I don't think so. No, no, not like this. Not in this economy. When the stream goes south. Oh, no. Give your correct boots. There we go. Cute. <laughs> it's on a timer. It's on a cool down. It's okay. It's not like it'll really impact you. True. We're in, in Colorado. Specifically, Denver is absolutely insane. There's a housing crisis and affordable housing isn't being built fast enough. It really isn't. I can't even move out without needing several roommates. Yeah. You know, a part of me has always been thinking that I think my parents had like a 30 year mortgage, I think. And they've lived in that house for nearly 17 years. And I'm like, I'll just buy your house and you can downsize. Because the housing market is 
ridiculous. Buying a house in this day and age is not great. That is true. They are complementary colors. That is very true. Indeed it is. It is indeed. I will accept that. Music clip of the day ready? Okay. I might actually end early a little bit. A little bit early. A little bit early. So you can post it in chat, Dab. Okay. I think my sim is done for now. I can't believe we're already on Gen... We're going to be on Gen 9 soon, which is so wild. Don't end? What do you mean, don't end? You need a buddy while I download CC? What CC are you downloading? Anything in particular? <gasps> Ooh. I got money from Society6. Nice. Handy Manny dated Demi Lovato. That is true. That is true. Yeah, the curse CC. Oh, oh my. I actually have a piece of CC that you should download that I think that will bring you so much joy and happiness that you could never resist. Where did it go? Let me find it. Here it is. You should download this. It's green. You should also download that along with your cursed CC for your sponsored stream tomorrow. The housing market is kind of bad of by design. Yeah. It's Shrek. Don't you just love it? The ears are so graceful. Wonderful. It was made five years ago. Oh my gosh. It's by Clown Confetti. That's scary. What? Okay. That's interesting. But anyway. Yeah, you should download Shrek Ears. Everyone does it. I also have more. I have more cursed things you should look at. Are you supposed to get bad snow tonight? That is what they say on the news. It did rain though, however, but I feel like as a, it's not gonna happen as bad. <laughs> of course it would be glue on. Yeah, he also has like some other stuff too and it's kind of scary. Um, I'm just like, what? I mean, you have Groot, a Groot preset from Guardians of the Galaxy. You got some weird mermaid stuff, Yu-Gi-Oh hair. It's a never ending cursed tumbler, but it's... What in tarnation? Okay. Um, I'm a little bit scared about this. <laughs> oh no, not the cone heads. Not to be weird, but what city do you live in? I live in Illinois, the bipolar state of the world. I don't like Illinois. I want to move. I want to get out of here. The cone heads. I love the cone heads. However, they scare me because that's literally a cone head. I don't know. There's just a lot of things in here that are just very creepy that I will never understand. But you know what, besties? It is what it is. Oh, that's cute. It rained here and they said and they said it was supposed to snow tonight and tomorrow. Everyone is going to is going to Sierra Cole at the grocery store. Oh, I believe you. I went today. I went to the grocery store today. And the shelves were nearly empty. I was concerned. The lines at Sam's Club was very long. I think it took my mom like maybe 10 minutes to get gas for her car. And I'm just like, mm, that's kind of crazy. Wonder how many. Wonder how many get the reference. Coneheads is a is a sh I think it was a movie I believe, or a show. Mister and Mrs. Conehead. Oh, it was a film. Nineteen ninety three. Had Adam Sandler in it. It's so cursed. 
and so disturbing at the same exact time. I'm sorry, but what is that? Six to 12 inches, I'm staying inside. Is it Texas you're talking about? Because same. Yes and no. I mean, Texas, Texas has some weird issues when it comes to weather. I know at one point, oh my gosh, what the heck? Um, at one point you had snow and it was so weird that your whole power just went, like, went out. Oh, they were on SNL too? Really? I didn't know that. It looks very ridiculous. It came out in 1993. July 23rd to be exact. Had Adam Sandler. I can see that happening. It is very creepy. You remember it and it blocked? I have locked it from my memory. <laughs> okay, that's not real. I gotta check the wiki again. I'm very curious. I feel like it's too early though. It's too early to decide. I mean, there are six Home Alone movies. Six Home Alone movies. You don't remember Adam Sandler? Neither do I. I mean, granted, I haven't seen that movie in literal ages, so I kind of forgot. Don't worry, Liz. I can give your brain at ease by telling you that there are six Home Alone movies. And what's so weird is that there were two Kevin McAllister's in one and two, and then four. They literally replaced every single character, but kept their name in number four. Changed. Oh no, Buzz stayed the same. He came back from one and two to go to number seven or number six. Texas here, we don't have any snow ever. So when we get snowstorm last year, everyone was like, um, the world's ending. We're going to grab everything and run. Had no running for days. That's ridiculous. I feel like nowadays they understand the, the, what's happening and are more well prepared. That is just wild. I literally cannot believe there's six Home Alone movies. Make it make sense. I wouldn't watch it because there's no reason to. It's just the same, but different. But same. Now, I think we all can manifest that there shouldn't be a Home Alone 7. Right? What is this? That's not it. This came up when I looked up if there's a Home Alone 7? Oh, no. I was like, who is that? That's Buzz. Wow. Same eyes and same nose, but everything else is different. Kevin looks exactly the same. This is very zoomed in. Oh my gosh, it's the sun. Home for the holidays, Home Alone cast holds a reunion 31 years after original Chris movie. Has stars revealed as McCulkey Culkin will join. Hmm... Well, I don't think it's going to be like a, you know how that they usually like do those like reunions? It's more like a Zoom call, I would say. That's what I'm thinking. It's going to be like more like a Zoom call thing. That's very zoomed in. Yikes, that's kind of scary. Oh, here it is. Oh, that's better. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, I think it's going to be more like a, a Zoom call is what they usually do for reunions. Because nine times out of ten... If it's like a really, really big production like Home Alone, maybe it was like a small special, maybe like an hour. I don't know. I just really hope. I just hope. Wow. 41. Oh my goodness gracious. That's wild. Yeah, there's a new Home Alone movie on Disney Plus. It's called Home Sweet Home Alone. Because I've called it Home Alone 6. They did it. They did the smart thing. They did the smart thing and called it Home Alone or Home Sweet Home Alone. Because I think they were running out of numbers and they kind of knew if they named it Home Alone 6, they'll be like, what, what even is the point, you know? 
Kids, I'm not kidding. Well, I mean, technically they did stop at Home Alone, the holiday heist. And that was number five. So I feel like as um, they've learned their lesson, you can only go so far with numbers. Number one, two, three, and four. Once you hit five, give it a different title. I'm actually kind of excited for um, Hocus Pocus 2 to come out. I think it's coming out this year. I'm pretty sure on Disney Plus. And then the Proud Family show is coming back on Disney Plus on February 23rd. So I'm looking forward to that for sure. I don't know. Yeah, he's engaged to Brenda Song. Which I think is so nice. Like, he's engaged to Brenda Song. They have a kid together. It's so nice. I think also another um, Dollface got season two. So that's fun. Never seen it. But it's fun. I'm excited for that, too. I'm excited to see how things will end um, with all that. There was another one, too. Um, oh, Santa Claus. Santa Claus is getting another movie same characters same actor tim allen's coming back playing scott calvin in santa claus 4. don't know when that's gonna happen but it was confirmed uh on the 14th that he's coming back i'm actually gonna be excited about this one in his 60s are you kidding me wait tim allen's 60 years old There's no way he's 68. That's true. He did, he did grow up from, from the trauma. That's true. The Proud Family movie uh, short show. I'm like very, very, very excited. We were running home after school to catch new episodes. Same here. I feel like The Proud Family was like that staple show that everyone loved. It was so culturally like amazing that you just could not not love it you know he does not look 68 at all they're lying someone lied to him that he was fly hot and sexy but he is nothing the sort nothing the sort anyway but no <laughs> he's fly um but he's 68 that's crazy you've never seen the problem you should watch it i recommend it I recommend it. It's really good. It's on Disney Plus, though. Nothing of the sort. Nothing of the sort. Someone told her that she was fly, hot, and sexy. Someone lied to her. I was watching TikTok the other day, and I don't know what it's from, but it was like an like a little uh, you know so sit down interviews that they do, and it was just like a saying. I'm like, what is that? You're watching a lot of nostalgic cartoons and TV shows. Let me know what I should watch. What I should watch then. <gasps> okay. I was like, I should. Sh I, I would show you my Disney Plus, but I'm like, um, I'm not gonna do that. Um, uh, I do recommend watching American Dragon, Jake Long, Proud Family. Um, I've been watching Saved by the Bell again because it's so good, but so old. But I love Saved by the Bell. Um, Totally Yoko is another good one. Totally Spies is good because they are coming back with another season, I believe. Yeah. It's a part of my childhood. Really good show. I agree. You learn financial responsibility from Proud Family. Same. That evil credit card haunts me to this day. Yeah. No, that's why I don't have a credit card to this day. Credit cards scare me. I don't trust anyone nor credit card companies anymore. It's like, mm -mm, no, no. I'm sorry, is that what they're gonna look like? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 hold up. Is that what they're gonna look like in the, in the new season? It says Totally Spies is returning for a seventh 22 minute season in 2023. No. Um. Pre-production started in France in partnership. Blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, 
Oh, wait. It's a unique ph phenomenon of 21 years later. Wait, what? I want, I don't like them like that. It's weird. They said, Totally Spies season seven said, Totally Spies, a unique phenomenon. Uh, and 21 years later, they are still on screen and in our hearts. The girls who have loved and adored by several generations are back from more international adventures with the same energy, sense of style, incredible accessories, cult one liners with more, um, experience words and fun than ever. Same enthusiasm, passion. Okay. Same thing. But like, why do they look like this? Well, not, well, let me just show you. They don't look like that before. Um, totally Spies looked very different. Let me show you what they looked like before. Oh, there they are. So this is what they look like. Um, here it is, a better picture. So this is what they looked like in the show. This is the old Totally Spies of what they look like. Outfits are the same, but like the whole face is different. They already finished, you already finished Totally Spies and I'm trying to find, trying to fit the urge to rewatch it. DuckTales, I need to watch DuckTales again. It's been a minute since I've watched it. I'm gonna try and watch it. If the plot is good enough, I should be able to look past it. I'm the same way. Like, if the plot's going to be, you know, good, I should be like, okay. Um, yeah, they've changed a few things about this. And I don't know. I was like, please don't make that the cover art. They also had, like, spin-offs versions of Totally Spies as well that were definitely interesting. Powerpuff Girls got, like, a, a new show. I think Totally Yoko should come back. I guess I'm the good ones. <laughs> Much better. Yeah, it is kind of close. And I feel like with new times, new art styles, I guess, come up. Because I feel like you, you can technically recreate the old ones. But I feel as if you recreate the old ones, they aren't like, mm, you know. They also brought back Johnny Test. Johnny Test is on Netflix. And they got renewed for season two. And they look completely different. So this is what Johnny Test looks like now on Netflix. Definitely very different for sure. That's Johnny Test now on Netflix. Same quirky kid, same everything. Different art style, of course. Um, but this is what they looked like on the show originally for like a couple of seasons. So this is the old, that is the new. I don't know, they just had like a, a, a definitely a lot of a different uh similarities and you know different storylines but kind of kept it the same challenge showdown was fun to watch i don't know these had a lot of good stuff ben 10's been redone multiple times yeah i love the ben 10 i never i didn't really watch it that much um of course i watched like the old one but not really the new ones a <laughs> big no-no. Uh, not a far friends I'll see. I didn't know Jenny Tess came back. Yep. It came back for season two on Netflix. And of course, you can, you can watch the old ones as well on there too. But why was it canceled? One reason the show got canceled is that it was so old. It was an eight-year-old show and people stopped watching it. So the show producers decided to stop the show on TV. And then they brought it back on Netflix. They did everything. But okay, it's fine. Another show that was good too was um, My Life as a Teenage Robot. Classic, could never been done before. So great. Loved it. You need to get some sleep, have fun with the stream. See you next time. Thank you for being here, Charlie Pancakes. I appreciate the company as always. And that's also true. Johnny Test never grew up along with Timmy Turner. Timmy Turner never aged up into the next age. I mean, they had some like, other episodes in there where they did age up, but it was definitely very different for sure. Um, I I remember Samurai Jack. That was really fun to watch, which in my mind, I thought that ended a long time ago. 
They said it ended in 2017. They are lying. Lying. But that was on Adult Swim. Welcome back from your lurk new. The old ones are on YouTube. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. I know Degrassi's on there. <gasps> oh, I remember the show Yin, Yin Yang Yo. That was my show. I loved Yin Yang Yo. Oh, SpongeBob. Wait. Wait. No, Ash. Ash, catch him. He never aged either. That's right. He never aged. It's just so weird. How old was he? I remember when I made, when they made other Yu-Gi-Oh's, I was like nine. I pretended that the whole TV fr franchise ended after the original. I felt the same way. I, I watched one of like the new ones, not like recent, of course, but like, I think it was, um, let me see. You, oop, that's not how you spell it. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, uh, which one was it? I still have all of my old Yu-Gi-Oh cards too. I still have them. That's not what I want. No. What was it? Yu-Gi-Oh show. It was the one after they canceled this one or ended this one. Powerpuff Girls. Yep. Yeah. SpongeBob never aged up. 10? He looked 14. You're telling me Ash Ketchum was 10 in that show? Wow. I did not know that. Where was it? So yeah, the original Yu-Gi-Oh. Ha, here it was. It was Yu-Gi-Oh GX. That was the last one I watched. Yu-Gi-Oh GX was the last one I watched. Because it was on, um... It was on some network. On, like, TV. I think it was on, um... PBS or, or it was on some network on PBS, I guess, that I watched. And it was Yu-Gi-Oh! GX was the last one I watched after I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! the very first one. But then they have other ones. And I'm like, uh-uh. No. I'm sorry. I'm not watching those. As much as I love Yu-Gi-Oh! No. Never heard of uh Yin Yang Yo. Did did it play what did it play on? Uh I actually don't even know what it played on Yin Yang Yo. I don't, I think it was Cartoon Network, I think. Oh, it's on Apple TV. Interesting. What network did it play on, actually? What network? Oh, really? Really? Toon Disney. So it was a Disney show. So Disney Channel. Oh. Ah, uh, that's right. Warner Brothers Network. That's right. Yeah. Uh, w WB Network. Yeah. Yep. Saturday nights. That's where I watch them. Phineas and Ferb never aged up either. They were always like kids and stuck in summer for like, I think six seasons. Brock was like 14 or something. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't even know that. The more you know about these like old shows that we used to watch is like, it's wild how... So many things have changed. Card Capenter. Card. Oh, card. Capture. What's that? No. I've never heard this before, actually. I've never seen it. No. It's, it's kind of like, it gives me Yu-Gi-Oh vibes and Pokemon, like his anime. I never knew that. I've never seen it before. Most of our old shows were on Cartoon, Cartoon Network. Yeah, it was. Another one was um, My Gym Partner's a Monkey and Camp Laszlo. That was my jam. Loved it. Five seasons was great. Made me want to go camping. But not really. I loved Avatar The Last Airbender. The show was great. However, the, the one with Katara. Nope. Korra. Legend of Korra. It came out, I watched season one and that was it. Of course I went back and watched it, but like, I don't, eh. something about about Legend of Korra was was off, you know, for me. Like I, I, had, I had a sense that it was ending. 
it was on around the, t the same time. I think I watched it on the CW. Really? I think so too. Same, same thing for me. Ed, Ed and Eddie was never aged either. They were kind of, I was never, I wasn't allowed to watch that show, Ed, Ed and Eddie. That's how inappropriate it was. Pennies and Fruit was my absolute favorite show, so I remember every single episode. Same. Squirrels in my pants. I woke up your dad so I can verify my my phone. Oh, well, Sims for Monday. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hi. <laughs> yeah, usually um, I had to change my moderation settings, so now you would need a verified phone number to chat now. But I'm glad that you can come on in and hang out with us. You haven't visited your streams in so long. I've missed you too. It was definitely a lot and it was very underrated. Yeah. You forgot about Camp Laszlo. It was so good. It was one of the best kids shows. Oh yeah. Legend like Avatar Last Airbender was like one of the best shows ever. I know that they're coming back with, I think, a movie? Not that ugly move. Not that one. Not the 2010 version. 2010 version was a flop. A flop. Um, but I think they're coming back, though. It scared you, really? I remember there was, um, the only character that I liked from that show was Plank. It was a bit more serious than Avatar Less Embraer. And I think that's why I didn't like it, because it was so serious. I enjoyed it, but, like, it's like, it was missing that humor. I would call theirs dry humor that, like, nobody gets. I didn't like that they didn't travel into the Legend uh, less airbender but i'm planning on giving it a try i think me too. i think i might watch it again just because i did enjoy it hi can i have your autograph i'm purple uh <laughs> what's that jordy <laughs> i keep coming to total drama island i remember that show i'm starting to watch it again and um the last season is different it's like, um, what, what's that one show? Um, it's like where they travel around the world. It's the amazing race, but in Total Drama Island. It's crazy. Sailor Sylvie, thank you so much for the raid and have happy Black History Month. And also congratulations, affiliate tomorrow. That's so exciting. Ooh, so, so pumped for you. How was your stream today in Jackbox? Chaotic, I hope, because that game is chaotic. But welcome, welcome in, everyone. We were playing Sims, but then I got sidetracked, as per usual, um, in streams. But we were playing Sims and not so very challenge, but then, you know, I'm doing something else now. Yeah, it's called Total Drama, Total Drama Island World Tour. So it's like Survivor mixed in with um, The Amazing Race. It's so weird. But it's entertaining. What did I really want to watch? Wait, what I really want to watch is Dragon Tales. Yes, Dragon Tales. Uh, I keep coming back. The one on Netflix. Yes, the Avatar movie on Netflix was icky. That one was just like, why was it even being made? Is my thing. Um, but I hope you stream it well, though, overall. Amazing World of Gumball. Yes, I love that show, but it slightly scared me because it was, like, mixed in with real life with cartoon. Scary. You're welcome, Chaotic Stream. Very good. Very good. You played a Pacific game? I have played Jackbox in my, in my lifetime and have to say it is very chaotic, so I agree with you. <laughs> and you're welcome. Yeah, totally. We are just talking about um, just random TV shows and movies that we've watched in our childhood and and everything. It happens on the daily. Honestly, we go on tangents while playing video games. So, yeah. But I hope you I hope you definitely had enjoyed uh, your stream and thank you for the follow and sending your lovely community over here and hanging out with us today. But if you have to go, I totally understand. Streaming can take a lot out of you. I would attest to that. I can agree. <laughs> um, but definitely get some rest, drink some water if you got to do that. Uh, does anyone remember Zumafoom and Between the Lines? Not Between the Lines, but Zumafoom sounds familiar. 
the live action was very bad. It really was live Avatar Last Airbender. I thought the new one was going to be on Netflix. I don't know. Let me let me see that because Avatar new is it new series? I think is it yeah here it is yeah 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 here it is. So it says. They don't know when it's going to be released. It's going to be on Netflix. It's going to be a show. But there's been some drawbacks for that, though, is the thing. It says, given the fact the show isn't due to start production until November 2021, which is already passed, we're expecting late 2022 or even 2023. However, the other thing, too, what blew my mind it was something about one of the characters not being a certain, um, what's it called? What What's the thing called? Race or whatever? Because it, it, it was something, it was some controversy around all this. And it was like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's a new animated series. It should be interesting. I'm looking forward to it, but I just don't know how I feel about it because the original people who made Avatar Less Airbender left. So it's like now up to like these random people. I think they should, I should put together a list of my cartoons. It's very long. I need to do that as well. To clarify, I'm talking about the certain reboot of Avatar, not the old one. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes more sense then. You tried Among Us after watching you play last weekend and it was very chaotic. Oh, I believe you. Among Us is the most chaotic game I've ever played in my entire life, but it's also very fun at the same time. If you have the right people, you know, only if you have the right people. Oh, they're remaking the live action Avatar show and the dad who plays Kim's convenience is playing Uncle Iroh. I can see that. And I love Kim's, I love Kim's convenience. It's so good. I had plushies and lions from that show. Ooh. A fake website went under, went around saying that for ages. Really? Oh my goodness. I hate people who, who, who do that. It's so annoying. Oh man. It's going to definitely be really interesting seeing how this all is going to come together. Animated and everything. Like, ooh, he's so cool. I'm so excited. I'm sorry, your username? Zuko's bikini. <laughs> Zuko is is definitely an interesting character in Avatar. And I have to say that Zuko out of all of them was really misunderstood. <laughs> I've been summoned. <laughs> you know, we were talking about Avatar and was like, wait, Avatar, Zuko, I'm here. I'm ready. Um, but yeah, I think that is definitely gonna be very interesting on how all this is gonna come together. Um, another thing that I saw, I don't remember if it's going to be another cartoon to being rebooted. I don't remember. It was something I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to talk about it tomorrow. I guess I remember how fun City Skylines was on stream. The game teaches you, teaches a lot about responsibility and fun. Oh, it does. And I want to play City Skylines at some point in the future, of course, on stream. I've done a few things. I also finally got the airports DLC. So arriving. This is what the old cast of, uh, was with the old cast of Avatar. Is anyone who wants to watch and might not want to play on stream? Yeah, probably, probably not on stream. Um, but interesting. Let me see. Let me hover over it. <gasps> I'm going to save that link for myself for later. Uh, in that tab there we go thank you uh i recognize the guy who played Sokka. oh yeah oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so Sokka, who played person who played Sokka in the 2010 movie played jasper in twilight for all those movies and it was very funny because he's nothing like Sokka. too confident too so sure of himself and like that's not what the cartoon Sokka was like Katara was spot on, Aang was spot on, except they called him literally, he called him Ung. Ung. Why in the world did they call him Ung? 
His name is Ang. There's two A's. Not A-U-N-G. It's A-A-N-G. Ang. Not Ang. I'm not kidding. They called him Ang. I was literally baffled. I'm like, no. That's not it. Don't do that. <laughs> I mean, this person's no longer acting anymore is the thing. He's, he quit acting altogether. Airport DLC is a whole new thing that opens up opens up so fast in front of you. It really does. I watch um, City Planner plays a lot on YouTube for everything for City Skylands because I learned so much from him. Just pretends that movie never happened. Yeah, I'm like, this movie never happened. They also had it on Wii. Like, this is literally it. So the person who played Aang in, in the movie... These are his credits. The video game, the movie, and then Cowboys and Aliens. That is it. So, well, he, he did join Art Craze in 2015 as a, you know, a contestant. But that was it. Nothing more, nothing less, just, just that. <laughs> but you know what makes me so angry? I don't... Uh, I don't think they did Aang right. They did, well, I was going to say the hairstyle, but he had no hair. Um, I would say the outfit and like the whole like air, arrow and everything was like spot on, but it was definitely, definitely very, very different. I would have loved to see if they did um, like going to the different temples because I thought, you know, this first movie was like all about like, you know, water or whatever. And then they would do another movie for like fire and then earth. That's what I was thinking they were going to do, but it was a flop. So they didn't do it. And I think that's why they didn't uh, continue. Like every Highlander movie that happened after that as well didn't happen. We don't, we don't speak of that no more. He wasn't really an actor to begin with. That is true. He did do more martial arts. That is correct. Yeah, and I think that's kind of why he was a kind of a, a right fit for Aang. Short, same age, 12 years old at the time, I think. So it kind of worked for him. It did work for him. Oh, they're coming out with another Percy Jackson movie as well. And then the one thing that makes me very, very angry, James Cameron, do not sue me, but this is my own personal feelings. Consumer of your brand, love you. But why in the world, why... Did he do this? You know, Avatar, the first movie, like the one with the blue people, 2009. I wasn't even in high school at the time when this movie came out, by the way. Um, we're getting Avatar 2, basically. We're getting Avatar 2 this year, Crossing Fingies this year in December. But let me tell you, this movie was supposed to come out in 2011. Or I think 2012, I think, I think at that point. But yeah, this movie was supposed to come out in 2011 or 12. But kept getting pushed back more and more and more and more and more. It was weird. It was weird. But I was like, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. But I told myself that I wouldn't watch movie if I... Like, if the second movie came out after I graduated college... I was going to lose my mind. I'm out of college now and the movie has not come out yet. But however, though, he has always been a, not directed in Hollywood. Yeah, that's true. Pushes things back. I mean, I'm fine with it. He made Titanic. So I mean, I'm good with it. I love Titanic. Even though that movie is very long, I still love it till this day. I love it. I'm excited for all the, like, you know, the Marvel movies, though, too, as well. See what it's gonna do. I remember my brother and I were supposed to be we're so excited for the Avatar Last Airborne movie. We begged our parents to take us. We didn't fit it for that week. We did all of our chores with without a fit. It wasn't worth it. It's like we did all this work for that. Wasn't worth it. My family had a Sunday lunch to watch Avatar. Oh, that's nice. I feel like Avatar is like that one movie Like James Cameron goes above and beyond with all of his movies. We all already know it. And I think that 
he's always finding like new ways to top somebody in like the industry for the movie industry for like the box office, I guess. Because Avatar 2 and Aquaman 2 is releasing on the exact same day. On the exact same day, it's releasing. Aquaman, Aquaman 2 and Avatar 2. But I know which one I'm going to watch. Avatar 2 to see if it lived up to the hype. And then Aquaman 2. But I'm just like, uh-uh. What? Why? What? The sinking in the in that movie actually is pretty accurate on how Titanic actually sank. And that's why James Cameron makes the big bucks. He did his research. I do not like that movie. I saw it when I was like nine. I saw it again at 19. I didn't like it. Yeah. Aquaman was a little bit weird to me. I'm like, eh. I like Titanic, but it's so long. You never saw the first Aquaman? Don't. It's not as exciting. I'm not a really big fan of like DC. I'm more of a Marvel fan, I would say. And then stop. Really? It is very so slow paced, I would say. They're coming out with a Mission Impossible 7. Bring the hype, besties. Mission, Miss, Mission Impossible 7. Coming out in September 2022 this year. But then it says 2023 on IMDb. Which one is it then, James Cameron? Which one is it? Well, that's not his movie. Wow. This franchise can go on forever. I haven't seen any of the movies. I haven't seen the first one. I don't know where to begin. I mean, Tom Cruise makes a lot of money from them, but I'm like, I don't know which one to... What? Mission Impossible 8? Thank you. I'm going to save that clip, by the way. <laughs> um, I don't know why they have... <sighs> Anyway, I'm I'm gonna stop now because we've gone on for a very long time. Um, they go on for so long. They really do. They really do. The new Fantastic movie, Fantastic Beast movie, is coming out only around your birthday. I'm excited for that, but I'm sad that I don't think Johnny Depp's gonna be in it though. First one still still holds up, honestly. Oh really? Should I give it a chance? Should I give it a chance? I know that they put all the Fantastic Beasts movies on HBO Max. Let me see. Um, Yeah, he's not going to be in it, sadly. With the whole debacle with his ex-wife. Um, But hey, what can you do? If you ever cried when Jack let go, Yara or something. I... I didn't cry, but it was like I felt something, but I was like, no. I love how this went from not to break to movies. I mean, honestly, are you shocked? <laughs> at this point, it's just like what we do at this point. Um, I'm a movie streamer, yeah. Um, he guessed because none of us know how the Titanic actually sank, but he guessed correctly. That is very true. I know there's like there was like one person, one person from, from the Titanic that actually like survived and lived up until I think 112 years old. It was like major news around that time. I think like 2009, I think. And that was it. They found the wreckage and it and it appears that the ship snapped in half upon sinking. It did. The Titanic was so real to me when I was younger. I cried so hard and my mom. Oh, with my mom because I saw people drowning. Same. I don't like when people, you know, drown. I can't swim. So we've seen Johnny. We've known Johnny is this guy ever since he dated uh Wano Ryder. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen him in everything. Edward Scissor Hands, Pirates of the Caribbean. Like he's in everything we've seen. I, I think I have like a, a VHS tape with him in it. Uh, subsequent one is kind of meh. Yeah. The second one was like meh to me. The first one was great. Second one, hmm. It was okay, but not as exciting. But yeah, I get you on that part. What's another thing I was going to look up before? Oh, yeah. 
Titanic. Wait, what? Titanic? No, that's a documentary. Okay. Yeah, here she is. Yeah, she's right here. Oh, she did it in 97. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It was somebody, it was in the Guinness World Record book. Um, oldest person. The oldest people, oldest person. that lived it was something there it is i found it i knew it was something i found it the person died in 1987 but was 122 years old they were born in 1850 1875 oh my goodness gracious that's a long time that's a long time when you get really invested in the movies after the whole hour, you get attached. You really do. You really do. Anyway, besties, I think we're going to go ahead and do the, <laughs> the, the um, clip of the day. So besties, prepare your ear holes because this one is quite interesting. This one is quite interesting. Clip of the day. It's quite fun. I'm so annoyed that... uh. Negan Cannon being ruined in Fantastic Beasts, but it's not the end of the world. True. True. It's not the end of the world, but you know, I'm kind of mad because he did ruin it. Anyway, I'm dead, by the way, in this game. I'm sad, but it's okay. Anyway, <laughs> the clip of the day, besties. I found my, found my computer fixing right now. I'm starting at my save file. <laughs> Wait, what? That laugh was. I finally got my computer fixing right now. I'm starting at my save file. <laughs> Dan laughing. That laugh was funny. Um, it's save file, so just myself because there's CC in it. And right now I'm giving Nico a makeover. Ooh, and she's doing candy. Oh, that's exciting. Get on, <laughs> Get on the phone. I was in the middle of. <laughs> Honestly, I seriously can't anymore. At that point, I was just delusional. I was delusional at that point, and the person who screamed was Claire Witch Baby. But it made it even more funnier because it's, it's just funny. I was so I was intrigued about the, the Lestrange family's lore. That's what the movies are about, really. That's what they're about? I didn't know that. I cannot believe this. I don't even know who the who who were the imposters. I think it was Sarah and, and Shella in that in that round, I think. Because everyone just died. I got voted out, of course, because that happened. But I think I died though. I don't know. But I think it it was no. It might have been Shella and Maggie, I think. But yeah, the screen was was Claire. Wait. No. Claire died. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, Claire did die a long time ago. But she just screamed, but no one else could hear her. Now I'm giving Nico a makeover. Ooh, and she's doing candy. Oh, that's exciting. Get on the phone. I was in the middle of It's a scream for me. It's just like, what happened? I can't anymore. I was delusional. I can't. I can't keep up with the, with the chaos of that stream. Anyway, <sighs> what can you do? What can you do? Honestly, what can you do? The bestie is the quote of the day. The quote of the day shall be: "Spring is a sweet." Is such a sweet cinnamon roll. I can't imagine him lying through his teeth if he ever became the imposter. Honestly, I'm never the imposter. So, um, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm never the imposter. I'm simply an innocent bystander. That reminds me of the clip of Dan Venting and scaring everyone. Oh, wait, that's very funny because I actually, I'm going to edit a clip of that at some point because I have it and it's funny. It's so funny. 
funny. But besties, I think what we're going to go ahead and do actually is send some love, hype, and positivity to a good friend of mine who's in a bit of a throwback stream today in The Sims 1. And my friend is Zephyrin, who's playing The Sims 1. You all know how much I love playing The Sims 1 on stream every once in a blue moon every five years. But... She's playing The Sims 1, and we're going to go send some love over her to our stream to see what she's up to today. She was building a house in the game, actually. Oh, I just did the quote of the day. Just missed it. Um, we did that. Don't worry. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all for hanging out with me today. And also, um, Maggie, thank you for the raid as well. And thank you all for the subs and bits and stuff as well. Thank you, thank you. I will be live uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. So 10 a.m. Central Time. We're going to be playing The Sims 3. We're playing The Sims 3 tomorrow at 10 a.m. And then on Thursday, we're playing The Sims 2. And then Friday, we're playing The Sims 1. So keep your eyes peeled on all those fun streams. But all the details are in the Discord. So make sure you kind of check there. Um, so you can kind of get a grasp of what's going to be happening here and there and all sorts of that jazz. But thank you all for hanging out with me. Stay safe and stay positive, And I will see you all next time. There's a fire. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Bye.